should be make sure everything's running. There, that works good. All right, is everything live? I have visual there. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to episode four of the Friendly Fire Podcast. We're actually what two in about a one month puppies. We're doing pretty good. I know we're on uh, a roll. <laughs> I feel you, you can actually say this. I feel like we're out of beta. We have two legitimate guests. We don't have just like <laughs> guys we were in team speak with anyway. Uh, uh, so I'm a little nervous actually. Uh, first time seeing you guys talk to you all the time, but first time seeing you. Uh, so let me introduce the guests, even though I don't know puppy. Does it really matter? We, they're, we know people want to see us, right? We just invite guests so they retweet the tweet. <laughs> no, come on now. Come on. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, so I'll leave the puppy to the last. But uh, our guest top middle would be Clouded Truth. Buddy of mine, recent convert to PC. Uh, support extraordinaire, yes. I would say. <laughs> uh, uh, as much as I bitched and moaned about the mag dump system, I never really felt that much of a victim to it because you were always right there with some ammo, which was pretty sweet. Uh, also, YouTuber, I'm going to have all the links in the description uh, for Nick and Cloud and, and Puppy as well. And obviously, you know where all my stuff is. <laughs> and uh, to his left, my right, i got to get oriented, is Nick Gigante. Gigante, right? Is that yep, how, yep, sounds okay. good. YouTuber, j j columnist, journalist? I don't, you, yeah, why, why don't you do a little bio? I'm a little, uh, I'm a little bit in everything, I guess you could say. <laughs> Rena Renaissance gamer, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, uh, you do your sh weekly show, which you did just put out, right? Uh, yeah. Just, no RE, well, which... I'm too old, and I had to ask you what that meant. Back. But uh, I'm trying to. YouTube's kind of being oh, YouTube right now, so yeah, I'm stuck in publishing. <laughs> Homeless yeah. culprit beard. Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nick does a really good weekly uh, wrap up show. Of the weekly news helps me keep up with what's going on because yeah, I focus on what I play and what I focus on uh, Battlefield basically and whatever else I'm playing. But he kind of brings, especially the the. the the consoles, you know, I had no idea what was going on. So yeah. <laughs> it's always good to watch. Always some different gameplay, for me anyway, than what I'm used to watching. So that's always Yeah, cool. well, I try, to I try to switch it up. <laughs> A lot try of, to. actually, Lego, which I've been playing with my son. So, uh, yeah, pretty fun that's actually. I haven't played it in a while. I should, I should probably get that back, get back on that one. I, I, I rage quit Lego. I, I rage quit. So did my son. He doesn't want. He wants to start over. He doesn't want to do it anymore because daddy rage. I don't rage at Battlefield. I don't rage at COD. I don't rage at anything. Lego Batman. I rage at. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. But uh, that, that that dance level is tough, man. Hmm. So I, I'm thinking about like disconnecting his controller while we're doing it, so I could just do it myself <laughs> and then get by. But we'll see. I, I don't know if that's really smart, but uh. We should address the chat real quick. I don't think I can type in the chat. Let me see. Test. Nope. Not letting me. I think I've been banned of my own chat. But uh, let's address the facial hair. It is No Shave November, of course, in honor of the puppy. Clouded came along. I didn't tell these guys. And, and Nick's got some going on, so we're all good. Uh, it's kind of a little meme, meme in our uh, podcast. Hmm. And I'm just I'm, I'm looking like a bum, egg roll. You're right. Uh, but as long as the wife's not complaining, it'll, it'll stay there. Oh, the midget, but what is it, lagging? All right, I'm listening. So now we got the intros out of the way. Let's talk about, let's go around in a circle. Well, Puppy, do I need to introduce you anymore? No. I don't think so. Don't even bother. I'm just going to say it's been three weeks since we did a podcast because we were waiting for your hangover to subside, and I think yeah. it just recently did. So uh, let's talk about, uh, we'll, we'll just skip you again because that's just what we're going to do. Cloud, why don't you start off, say what you've been playing. I think I have a good idea on what this is. What have you been playing the last week or two? Oh, you know. <laughs> I mean, we only answered Battlefield 4. Yeah. Oh. I mean, just that's it. I don't think I have. I don't think I've touched another game since it's come out. Yeah. It's been it's been that addictive. Even even though people like to complain about all the issues, it's 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 still that addictive. Even though with the problems that it's got, so that's that's all I've been playing. And I'm 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 loving it. A lot of people want to complain. I love it. Yeah, I, I I've been pretty lucky myself. I haven't had too many bad issues. I mean, puppy, sorry. Net code and hit detection, hit notification, <laughs> those types of issues. <clears throat> Hardware, server crashing. I've actually, I, I haven't played a ton. I think I'm at like 10, 11 hours, maybe 14, because I played on another account. But I've been pretty fortunate in that way. But I'm loving it too. But we'll get in that a little bit more. So that's really all you've been playing, and obviously that's, the YouTube game. Yep, that's it. <laughs> all right, Nick. What about you? I think you're gonna have a little more variety. Here. Yeah, I've been playing. <laughs> I actually just got off of Battlefield, which Did you? Uh, new patch. I'm enjoying it, but okay. there's a lot of mm. the game itself is fantastic. I absolutely adore the game, but there's some crap that just needs to be fixed, like. I was just in what's what's that Zavad three eleven? Yeah, is that the, the that tank might be graveyard? my favorite so far. Yeah, 
it's you try to vehicle on that map, man. It's like you're in a tar pit. You get yeah. stuck on every little thing, like <laughs> well, that's stuff like that. Too. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just yeah. But it's a great game. I've been playing that, uh, Sonic Lost World, and hmm, not not really dabbled in Ghost. I had no desire for that <laughs> one, and uh, a little bit of the Wind Waker HD. So I'm a little bit of everywhere. I'm all over the platforms. We're in trouble because you were gonna, you were going to be my ghost guy. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm up on enough. On I promise. Yeah, There's yeah, not I much know. to say about <laughs> it. <laughs> and Mr. Uh, the Puppy, why don't you go and betray the rest of the chat and tell the people what you were just playing? Uh, well, I I actually went and put in a, a couple hours in COD Ghost just for this podcast. I went over and sure. played at a neighbor's house You're and uh, yeah, yeah. Well, man, I want to know what the hell I was talking about. Although I didn't play any Battlefield 4. <laughs> <laughs> so I figure you guys will have me covered there. It'll be all right. But uh, my internet was out because I just moved. So in oh, my downtime, great. I was playing offline games. I had Skyrim, Mass Effect, and uh, the GTA 5. I hit up all those a little bit, just kind of bouncing around. And then once I got my internet back, it's been, unfortunately, Battlefield 3 and uh, Cod Ghosts. And that's pretty much been me. So... Not a whole lot. What are you waiting on, the, the Xbox One, I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting on the Xbox One, which, oh, man, that's a sob story in and of itself. I, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get one on, on day one at this point. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's uh, probably going to not be a bad thing for at least a couple of days, I would imagine. It's probably going to have some yeah, issues. So. it's an understatement. Yeah, I mean, I know it's, <laughs> it's hard to say that. Uh, it's easy for me to say because I don't have a horse in that race, but... If at least Battlefield launches any indication, I can't imagine it on a console scale. So. Oh, God. Uh, all right, so let's just get right into some news. I'm going to try to keep these like shorter topics. You guys don't know. Me and Puppy like to talk a lot, and these can go a long time, and we don't actually get to talk to a lot of different things. I want to do a little bit of variety, even though I'm looking at the list, and it's a lot of similar things. But first thing I did want to talk about, and just make sure we talked about because this is the one thing that like, I really enjoyed. I enjoyed it more than I thought. The Battlefield Showdown, Battlefield 4 Showdown. You guys watch that? Did you follow yes. that at all? Yes. I thought it was really cool, the London event. I expected it to be super cheesy, kind of like, you know, I was upset because I, I wasn't able to go, but I kind of thought the actual, the, like, the stream they put on was going to be the least of the event for me, uh, you know, <coughs> but uh, it was pretty cool, and I, I, th I saw some potential there for Battlefield competitive, and that's kind of where I'm going with this is, uh, you know, yeah, I, I know all the issues that Battlefield has, but do you guys think you see at all of a glimmer of some competitive, uh, you know, big tournaments and stuff like that, some just... As a spectator sport, I mean, I know that obliteration second match was insanity. Yeah, that was <laughs> I don't know if it was, highlight. Yeah, I don't doubt. know if it was very fun to play, but it was pretty crazy to watch. That's for sure. So, what do you what do you guys think? Did you enjoy it? What, what did, you know? What do you think of it? Well, I think as a competitive, it does have potential. The biggest problem that Battlefield has in terms of that is team size, and making and and taking advantage of the potential of the game, and then keeping it in a competitive arena is going to be very, very hard. Team, you know, per team, is going to be very difficult. Just from watching it standpoint, and just knowing what's going on, like, for example, and I hate to make the correlation, but you have to in this case, Call of Duty, when you have four versus four, you can watch the entire game. Yeah. You know, it's very easy to cast it, it's very easy to follow it. The maps are the size of one building, and, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just a very easy game to follow. And with Battlefield, it's just... I think they made amazing strides. It's more so than Infinity Ward has with Call of Duty Ghost this year. But it's just the game, the, the core mechanics and how the game runs is not 100% for competitive just yet. Unless they figure out some type of streamlining system to make the games or the maps or the modes better and easier to follow, it's going to be rough for them to, to incorporate it officially or, you yeah. know, popularity-wise. Large scale, right. I think I think that's part of why the, uh, the obliteration was it was so popular in the BF4 showdown though, is because it was so easy to follow. The camera only had to be in yeah, one area. That's true. It's for very focused. Yeah. Yeah. So it was it was pretty focal action there. It wasn't like uh, the conquest matches. Yeah, it's also mass chaos. <laughs> it was, yeah. Man. But I mean, when the one guy was bringing the bomb up and the, the tank came around the corner, just blew, that was that was pretty cool. So, <laughs> Cloud, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of similar to that, and also like called. Games like Call of Duty have got an established competitive thing. And Battlefield, for me, it's like I never think of it as like real competitive. Like I think there's guys that play it competitively, but establishing it as a, like a competitive game and getting the publicity and like I don't know, maybe developing the game with that competitive mindset is I don't know. I think they've done a compared Battlefield Three to Battlefield Four is a lot better. Yeah. And like the point Nick that you put it on about the whole, it was like how the, the game is balanced for competitive play. I don't think it's quite there yet. It's getting there. Like it's they've done and strides oh, are getting there. leaps and strides for sure, but yeah. they're not quite there. But I think the twist is that 
in order for it to succeed, and tell me if you're wrong, I think Nick's kind of what you're t- touching on, it's going to be more 5v5, 10v10 than anything right. traditional about yeah. it. Like you're going to have that yeah. sprinkled in here. And there. But even just think about it from a team perspective. Like, you got to manage 32 guys. Or, you know, I'm saying if they try to do large scare. So that means you got to have 50, 60 guys on a roster. It's just logistical nightmare. <laughs> then there's marketing personalities and, and brands and things. It's it's going to be a 5v5, which I'd be I'd love to see, 5v5 domination. I wouldn't care. I just I love the Battlefield mechanics over COD. You know, again, yeah. we're COD here. I just think there's just so much more depth. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a Battlefield guy, but... I mean, I'd, I'd settle for that as a starter, and then if they want to, you know, go bigger from there. I mean, I would have loved to see 5v5 squad rush or, you know, but, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to keep <laughs> going on beating that drum. But uh, anything else you guys want to wrap up on that or we will move along? So. Well, I, I will say I think they, they made a huge misstep with the Diffuse. They were trying to make that their go-to competitive uh, game mode. They were trying to replace squad rush because before, like with Battlefield 3, I know that squad rush was, uh, I mean, minus the 5v5 and the 10v10 conquest. Uh, squad rush tended to be where a lot of the competitive players were at as far as the battlefield scene goes and i think when they uh tried to throw in diffuse from what i understand obviously i haven't played it so it's all just what i've i've talked to uh some pro players and some amateur uh players that still do the tournament and league type stuff and they've all said that it's it's pretty abysmal and it doesn't really work very well i think that was a huge misstep on their part unless they can add squad rush in a future dlc or something i'd i'd do so. not see it really <laughs> taking off. Or something off. along those lines, yeah. 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 Now, what's the problem? I haven't, I haven't touched a few. So, what's the problem? Like, I heard they just like they tried to copy Search and Destroy, but then they they bastardized it. I I haven't touched it. So, man, I oh, I yeah, haven't played it firsthand. I haven't yeah. played it. I haven't no, played it firsthand. Yeah, so I, I don't have much hands on with it either. For another day. Uh, yeah, I just haven't gotten that deep into the game yet. I've been domination dominant right now, and you know, it's sprinkled in with other things. So, I'd be interesting to. See. It's also like with Call of Duty. I know. The comparisons, but Call of Duty is not even about the teams anymore. It's 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 still in the stage of focusing more on the particular player, oh, yeah, and then absolutely. I mean, minus the few. There's a couple like I mean, Team Envious and Team Optic. I'm sure you guys have even heard of them because yeah, yeah. they they're basically you know the Yankees of competitive Call of Duty. If you can even make that correlation, but but you can there's a lot more of because of YouTube than because exactly of competitive branding yeah. and marketing, and it's but. also easy to follow them because there's only four of them. Yeah. So. It's it's absolutely a lack of attention span. It's going to be logistical nightmare, like you said, with managing fifty plus players per team, let alone getting enough players mm-hmm. to play in a At competitive a high level. tournament. Yeah, yeah. So it's not there yet. They need to make what I would like to see is a domination style map setup, size wise, with an obliteration style game mode. I think that would be like a five v five domination map size obliteration esque type game mode. I think that would be something to watch. Be, it'd be small enough where it would be kind of like a, a tug of war, co- constantly back and forth tug of war between who right. has the bomb in a small condensed area. That may work, but this massive, even if, even the focal point, the problem is this chaos. You know, you're just seeing literally it's like ants rushing to a piece of candy. Like you, you don't really know what's going on. You're just seeing people dying and tanks blowing shit up. Like you don't. <laughs> well, that's what I said. Know? I tweeted was it yesterday? I don't even remember. Like, said, have does anybody played the new Battlefield Four zombie mode? You just go grab the bomb, find a building, <laughs> yeah. and you defend it. It's it's and people just waves of people come at you. Exactly. Like, yeah, I mean, I like the bomb because obviously it's like a ball. It's like football or soccer. It's that's what you focus on. But yeah, it's, it's like a lower level number, smaller maps. You might see like positions evolve, and I mean, obviously you got to give things time for the meta and stuff to come around but i think yeah it's gonna have to be the smaller smaller sizes for sure to start and there'll always be these big events that they're gonna sprinkle in something but i think yeah i think they're doing what is it a youtuber pub stars versus simthic Mm -hmm. is coming up now it's gonna be uh, i I don't know what i volunteered for but we'll see (laughs) yeah i'm I'm right there with you i thought it was simthic forums and i'm finding out it's their competitive team or something so i'm like oh great okay they have a competitive team i didn't know that but that's what i saw tweeted it doesn't make a difference for me it's for fun but uh, yeah it does make a difference (laughs) yeah so rage will be had (laughs) i won't yeah beers will be had and i whatever i'll be the rep bitch that's all yeah (laughs) what are you good at repping (laughs) But I gotta play more. I seriously gotta play. I don't even know. Like I gotta find out what maps they are, and I gotta play those because I know domination. That's about it right now. So, all right, let's switch off the battlefield COD and go to the the other big game. I I don't know if you guys looked at the doc. I hope you guys had a chance to read this. But Titanfall announced, and, and Nick, this is your wheelhouse probably to remain an Xbox exclusive for its lifetime. Uh, yeah, obviously it's gonna be on PC, but this is you know uh, clearly competitive against PlayStation. So what do you what do you guys think about this? Is it gonna affect it at all? Does this uh, stuff really affect sales at all? You think? I think it's going to become their new Halo. Yeah. 
that's what I think Titanfall is going to become. I, I think you're going to see Microsoft in the years to come try to force. They're saying, you know, Respawn is saying Titanfall 1 is going to be exclusive to Xbox, kind of hinting that Titanfall 2 won't. But you're going to see Microsoft force well, them into doing 2. You just know it. And uh, isn't that I think what they you're going to see it. They sold the early exclusivity, and then EA sold it out from under Respawn or something, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, didn't I read that somewhere? Yep. They knew that launch, it was going to be exclusive for like a month or two or three or whatever. And then EA went behind and made it a, a you know, for yep. life deal. So there you go. It's already some drama. And they, they already left Activision for crap like that. And now they left EA for crap like that. They go to Activision <laughs> and then they left Activision to come right. back to EA. So, it's, it's a brutal cycle. Yeah, <laughs> insanity, something like that. But uh, and then what's the what's the PlayStation? Is that Destiny? That's kind of their one that they're trying to build up. Yeah, but that's on everything, right? Isn't that's that a, that's on everything. Yeah. 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 I thought I saw something yeah, you wouldn't announced. know it. You wouldn't know it, but it's on everything. Yeah. They're they're advertising it the most on PlayStation. I think that's okay. more just a, a PlayStation. The Sony went, I think, and fronted them some money to like, hey, show us, show the game on our hardware sort of deal, yeah. so that people associate the two together. The only real uh, shooter game that I'm aware of that's uh, PlayStation exclusive is Killzone, which yeah. to me doesn't look that impressive. I mean, yeah. the graphics are good, but kill the people with the red eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's Killzone. It's not, like, I know nothing about it. And that, that's Killzone's always about. been all show, no gameplay. Yeah. yeah. It has. It's just, I mean, hell, Killzone 2 or 3, what was the one on PS3? Was that Killzone 3? 3. Yeah, that, that had like worse input lag than Battlefield 3 on the PS3 had. It was just terrible. So. <laughs> that's pretty bad because... Wow, yeah. I hate about it for three on PlayStation. All right, so I mean, yeah, I just didn't know. I I, I haven't been t- paying, keeping up on Titanfall because it's so far out. I guess it's, it's going to be a good one though. I don't know if it's I, a me game, but I'm definitely going to check it out. Yeah, I have, I, th- I think it's going to be good. I have some huge concerns over Titanfall. Over one of the other topics that's further down on the list, uh, I will I will briefly mention it, and we can skip it until we get to it. But the uh, the whole server updates through the no, cloud. Yeah, tie it right in together. It's fine. Uh, all right, we can keep going with that. I think like if Microsoft can't fix that right now, for those of you that don't know, I, I don't have the link on me right I now. Got it, right. it says chat. Xbox One cloud updates may force mid game reboot, so you can be playing the game. And, it, yeah. and yeah, the ser- essentially what it is is the server is going to require an update for its software, which is going to cut everyone connected to that server off. So, so if you're, feel playing like you're playing game, Battlefield Four, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you feel like you're playing Battlefield Four right now. You guys have been playing it and just get mm. instant disconnected. And I mean, it's like, getting better to be fair. <laughs> uh, the article said like they're trying to fix it, but then at the same time, like the guy was quoted as saying it's still happening a lot. <laughs> So I just yeah that's not too encouraging like I I really want to put my faith in Microsoft I mean they've invested millions of dollars into this cloud thing of course they're not just using it for the whole system isn't it (laughs) yeah well see that's the thing though they're not just using it for gaming like they'll advertise to gamers like we've spent what is it like two hundred million dollars on this cloud computing but what they're not telling you is yeah it's not all for you it's you know we have other things that we're using for businesses and and you know more practical purposes. Uh, but like they're they're still investing money and it is still going to be used. And the fact that they would invest that kind of money on something that could potentially be broken is a little concerning to me. Is and anybody like, really like taking advantage of cloud yet? Or is there anything? I mean, what is that? Uh, that's the one I'm thinking of that's supposed to. Cloud computing? No, there is cloud streaming. There's there's yeah. a, several cloud streaming services out there. PS4 is going to be doing cloud streaming. But I'm where, saying where they like the AI is, is streamed off of. Oh, uh, that's a uh, Forza Five apparently is taking advantage of that. Okay, but I yeah. just didn't even know if this is a yeah. feature people are going to be using for a while. Like, why yeah. enable it if it's not really going to be? Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know that much about it. I just when you tout there's, it as this big stepping, like this big step up from your competitor, or you know, this is what's going to raise your ceiling coming down the road, and then it doesn't really work. <laughs> It's kind of yeah. like, ah, uh, you know, but that, that seems to be how the things go these days. So, uh, you guys have anything else to say on, you know, Titanfall or, or the whole Xbox? One? I, I, not I, 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 I really believe it'll happen. And like, I think that if Microsoft manages to pull this off and make it work, I think you will see a trend in gaming, like across all platforms. Where if Microsoft can make it work, you know, the other guys are going to go, well, oh hell, you know, this, oh, sure. this look at what they're doing. Because, I mean, basically, you know, what you'll be able to do is, like, uh, you can come out with a PC game that, you know, has, it, you can really push the limits of what the game is, but at the same time, you can keep the minimum specifications required by the user down because you can just offload those processes, the, uh, you know, the graphic rendering or, or whatever it may be, uh, off to some cloud somewhere to send back to your computer if 
if they can make it work. I mean, there's an obvious yeah. bottleneck of, of your your bandwidth, and that's like the huge issue right now, minus the whole your server may just reboot <laughs> mid-game. You know, assuming that wasn't even a problem, you still have the bottleneck of, of your, your bandwidth, so we'll have to see. Yeah, there is a uh, there is an interview with, what's the who's the people that create the lighting engine in Battlefield? Uh, it's, a, it's like a third-party company that, I forget the, the name, like, precedes me now, but uh, basically the creator of that spoke directly about rendering graphics on the cloud side in reference to the Xbox One and PS4, and he basically said it's shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> there was an interview with, uh, I forget, well, I have it too, I, I did a whole piece on it, but uh, he basically said, and that was right after Mark Cerny, who was the lead architect designer behind the PS4, came out and said, yeah, you can in theory do it, but there's a reason why we don't. So I think... I think Microsoft may have bit off a little more than they can do. I mean, if anyone can do it, it's Microsoft. They have, I think, the second largest cloud service next to Google. But right. uh, I wouldn't hold much to it They right just don't now. know how to use it yet, it seems. Like. Or they don't know how to implement it, I guess. So Yeah. I think uh, it's yeah. going to end up being yanked. And it, they're just using it right now as marketing leverage, you know, for now until they can figure it out. But we'll see. Yep. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just gave them something to talk about, you know. Ooh, shiny things. So. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. We'll, we'll kind of get to probably some of that in, in our other main topic. But silly little friggin' article I saw that made me laugh. I, I got this off another podcast. I wish I could remember which one. But article here, the PlayStation 4 is going to cost $1,800 in Brazil. I mean, mm. is that fucking nuts? Mm. Uh, obviously, it's because of tariffs, taxes, and embargo, whatever. whatever. It's more government. It's not, it's not Sony. But uh, I just thought that was pretty crazy. Imagine you had to pay that much money for... I mean, I have a buddy that married a girl from Brazil, and he goes down there a lot. He's always, like, loads up on games. He takes them down there, and now I know why. It's kind of yeah. insane. Uh, that's why the PS2 is still in production, basically. You can thank Brazil for that. That's why the, that's why FIFA 14 is available on the PS2. It's because it's huge down in Brazil, because it's still it's, it's the only thing affordable sense. down there. Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, it's what like was that. it? <clears throat> I was just reading in that article that you had you had linked for us. There was some some about a guy who was saying that it, it's actually like they did the math on it, and it's cheaper if you live in Brazil to yeah. buy a plane ticket to the U.S., <laughs> fly here, buy oh, yeah. your PlayStation sure. Four, and then fly it back. Like it's it's cheaper than paying the eighteen hundred dollars. Wow, that's so. just I just that's crazy. I just. I mean, because like, doesn't, like, Battlefield have a pretty large... Con- like, I know, like, some of these big events they've had, they've invited people, like, YouTubers and things, are from South America, for sure. And I, I want to say there's a couple from Brazil that I've, I I couldn't tell you the names of, but it's kind of crazy yeah. that... I mean, there are, I know. I know there's at least a few. One of them, uh, what's that guy's name? There, there's one I'm trying to think of, I think. One of them starts with an O. That's, that's his name. He's a Brazilian guy, drives tanks all the time. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, I know him. But I know him just through really the events. Cool. Yeah. But what's yeah. uh What's PC software in terms of price down there? That's what I was just going to say. I wonder what games cost. And yeah, because if, if that's the case, I'm assuming if PC is probably huge then for gaming wise down there. If that's, you know. Well, you would think. I mean, they could just, I mean, <laughs> what would they I be able to do with Steam? <laughs> I think it's all consumer electronics because it's basically a, a tax that they impose on, on any imported Import. uh, electronics. If you can make the electronics there, I'm sure it's, it's well, a that's, great deal cheaper. You got to wonder. There's got to be a way you can ship it in parts, assemble it there, and, you know, like, but, because, I mean, I, the, the Xbox One's going to have to be similarly priced, right? I mean, uh, uh, the Xbox One's only going to be a thousand. Thousand, though. yeah, I was going to say, I think it's a thousand. Only How is that? Yeah, they must be doing something. So they're that's... they're. I think basically, I think Microsoft is just taking a taking a hit on it just to kind of edge out. They're basically giving it away for free on their side, and yeah. the government's making a grand, or they yeah. made a nice donation to somebody. Something something happened. <laughs> I just thought that was crazy. I thought I'd bring it up. Those one of those little headlines I see. So I guess tonight we're kind of obviously the Battlefield Four is going to be our main oh. topic. We're going to get to that in a little bit. But uh, I have a feeling the next one here, the COD Ghost launch, and re- just. Everything going on. I'm going to try to remain impartial. It's not going to be very easy. Uh, let's just talk a little bit about Ghosts because it's dominating the news cycle. Battlefield <laughs> is very happy to have this right now, I'm sure. A lot of yeah. attention taken away. So, uh, I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen it's... nothing but really, really bad reviews. And I, I should say that's mostly on the PC port. I, I don't know. How how are the consoles stacking up? For one, it's, it's deja vu if you think about it because... I'm pretty sure of EA owes Infinity Ward their, a, a margin of their success because this is the second time they've released a Battlefield game where they went up against a crappy Infinity Ward game because Modern Warfare 3 went against Battlefield 3. Yeah. And we all know, even based on YouTubers, that quit Modern Warfare 3 and jump ship the Battlefield for the first time. I mean, Shusty Bang's one of them. 
Uh, Pwn Star is one of them. I mean, there's a bunch that are that made a living off of it, or not necessarily made a right, living off of it, but big game. YouTube channels that that was their game, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just I, I mean, I've I've seen the PC is just terrible. I mean, what is it, a Total Biscuit or whatever? I watch his review and stuff. It's just, I mean, certain things are just not even there, and you're just like, wow. not even a field. You can't even adjust the field of view. Yeah, <laughs> and Activision killed the third party. Add on to do well, that. They did. Is that where that? I saw some of that on yeah. Twitter today, and I wondered where that came from. But that must be why. It's it's. It's painful, man. I saw like a support chat with a somebody. Uh, I don't know. It was terrible. I was. I didn't really get any context for it though. So, uh, yeah. But uh, the reviews. Uh, it's just not just like you know informal reviews, like you're saying YouTube reviews, but also like rated reviews are, are just abysmal. It's about uh, time. In yeah. all honesty, it really is about time that they're getting hit for the redundancy that is. That franchise, yeah, it's, you know. Well, speaking I, of redundancy, I mean, then let's talk about the recycling of the cutscenes and uh, oh, like crack nostalgia. Oh I love it when I saw oh it. About that. <laughs> How do you have nostalgia for a game that's <laughs> years old? And if it was nostalgia, wouldn't you do a, a throwback to Call of Duty Four if that was really what your excuse was? Right. It's just the whole. How thing. about a game people like? <laughs> yeah, like uh, laziness, just laziness. Yes. I just yes. how are you not enraged as a COD player? Like, I'm not. I laugh it off. I just go about my day. But if this is your, or like you said, worse, your guy makes your living. I mean, how do you not just? I don't know. I mean, I, I said like imagine, imagine uh, like the set of balls, on, and maybe you can tell me who it was that went up for the the presentation was at E3 and was like, it's a new engine. It's new <laughs> this, and it's then it's they Mark ship Rubin, this, <laughs> and they ship this, <laughs> and re recycled cutscenes. You can't like, even you adjust know? the the volume in the game. <laughs> Individually, oh, I did see that. Yeah, the universal yeah. audio control. Like, what? Like, what? Wh I mean, I can't even like comment on that. That's how bad that is. Right, and they're just gonna say they hate PC. That's gonna be their out on that. But yeah, hi. no, that's on console too. Oh, it's, a it's on. Yeah, it's on console. Yeah, too. it's on console too. I'm, I'm totally, trying I'm to totally play the advocate, and I can't. I, I totally checked it out. It's on console too. Hey, let me just say, let me just say that oh, I am so it, happy. So. Like normally. There's a website out there, Metacritic. Some of you guys may have heard of it. Some of you may have not. But, like, normally I don't give it any credit just because I feel like a lot of the the Crowd critics that are on there are bribed <laughs> or, or you yeah. know, they're, they're, they're filtered in through the, the wonky ways that they're able to, you know, get good ratings and stuff. And then the user reviews, like, a lot of times it's, like, really angry fanboys and stuff. But, like, when I went on Metacritic, just out of curiosity to see how Cod Ghost was doing, and I saw that not only did some critic give it a like a ten, which on the oh, critic wow. side it's out of a hundred. So to get a ten out of a hundred like oh, that, I was like, yes, yes, good job. And then to see the user reviews, like there's there's on a scale of five, and the over or is it ten? It might be ten. Um, yeah, it's ten. Sorry. <laughs> um, but like the overall rating on on for the user end is a two point one. And it's not fanboys. It's not fanboys. It's people that are in there saying, I played Black Ops 2. I loved Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 3, which, in my opinion, were terrible games. I didn't uh, mind Black Ops 2, but it, mm, it was COD. It, was, you know. mm. <laughs> it, it had I didn't have high issues. expectations. All, all Call of Duties have similar issues, whether it be connections or balance. The difference is, though, in this case, is... At least with Black Ops 2, at the regardless of how the game played, the core mechanics and the core fundamentals of the game at least Im incorporated something new, right? They they pushed towards the competitive side, which is fine. I mean, everyone argued that's not the core players of the game, and whatever. The fact is, though, Treyarch decided to do something new. Yeah. They tried pushing towards an ultimate goal, and Infinity War took the game and just went backwards. And well, that's, that's really what the slap in the face is it's because it's the, it's like it's like two like siblings fighting you know and i don't know that's don't that's know. infinity war and treyarch and, and infinity war treyarch, like I think, arrogant just yeah like, infinity, like, we exactly. know better we know better yeah. that that sold that did well but we know better and it's like mm -hmm. what the f yeah oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I think the thing that i that that i i was actually the most disappointed about in ghosts and it's actually probably the only positive thing i have to say about ghosts is actually I felt like what in in my brief playtime that I did have is their their hit detection actually works now. Mm -hmm. um, so like I I felt like essentially like I didn't buy the game but I played with a, an, an old friend, 
and I felt like I told him I was like, dude, you just spent sixty dollars on a patch because the game doesn't look any better. It, it doesn't worse. really. It looks, it, 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 it looks it, terrible. It looks like that's it, the thing with me. Like, and I kind of enjoy the COD art style sometimes. It looks bad. But let me. Uh, Chat's talking about right now. The IGN. They. I mean, obviously they have no. Yeah, they, they, it's worse. Is remember the sound bite or the the text bite for Battlefield Four? Yeah. Battlefield Four puts COD oh, Ghost yeah. to shame. Then they rate COD right. Ghost higher than Battlefield Four. It's ah, it, oh, it's just. There's just no credibility anymore. It's just a nah, big marketing IGN website. is pretty bad, man. I know. It's, IGN is pretty it's bad. It's just funny. It's like when you yeah. deliberately, like, all you saw is that, you know, text, but they're like, what is it? Puts it to shame or something like that. And then you rate the other one higher. It's just like, oh, my God. Just try. Just try. <laughs> you know you know those guys over at IGN are seeing perks. There's no other way around it. Or I don't Obviously, they're probably not getting cash up oh, front. Oh, they're getting cash. I, one way I, or the other. I, the, uh, I think cash, cash would be illegal, but surely. Well, they're getting, they might not get it directly, but they're getting you it somewhere. You see the PC oh, yeah. Gamer, uh, the EA? No, thing, where they where it uh, what do you call Notch from Minecraft tweeted out the email that PC Gamer was basically charging people for their <laughs> logo for like PC Game of the Year and stuff, like basically bribing them. What? Yeah, let me see if I can find what? it. What? Probably a licensing fee or something stupid. Oh my god! It's no, yeah. God. I mean, it's not directly, but I'm sure you know Activision or Mike's are you know is going. Well, we'll we'll pull our advertising from your website if you you know it's here's pro pro basically. Here's what I don't understand though is like all right, so a little known fact: my mother is actually a she works for a newspaper, so I'm fairly acquainted with how the whole news reporting goes. And like I spoke with her on some of these topics a little bit back in the days of mod. Uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter, because there's some stuff going on with that that I was a little bit curious about. I'm not getting into it because that's a whole other topic. Um, but more or less what I asked was, like, are are people, are, are these companies allowed to pay money and, and it's in essence, bribe their way to good reviews? You know, like, can you as a company, like, say, hey, I'm going to send you, you know, come on over to visit us in this really nice jet at our game Isn't studios. That what and Dice just did? And yeah, yeah well, like exactly. apparently, I, mean, I would have said yes, but <laughs> apparently, for a newspaper, that's illegal. Is it literally illegal? I it know is it literally just... illegal, but for some reason, magazines not so much. Which I don't understand why, because I feel like they're both trying to cover the news. You know, that a magazine is supposed to be just as credible as a newspaper, right? I mean, sure, there's more opinion pieces in it. Uh, it tends to be all it is, but I don't know. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I, yeah, I mean, I mean, let's not. I mean, everybody does. Like I said, isn't that what Dice and EA just did? They flew all the YouTubers yeah. over. I mean, there, there's no direct, but I mean, well, see, I, I don't. I mean, like, I, here's the thing. Like, Luton took a lot of stuff this week, right? He made a video kind of defending Dice, and I, I know Darkness was kind of a little kind of devil's advocate when all the stuff was. And I and I felt like these guys just got back from a great trip. They met a lot of these people face to face. Like when you meet someone face to face, you know, suddenly it's harder to be critical of them, you know, because these are real people, families, they work 40 hours a week doing these, you know, you kind of have a little more of a personal perspective on things, so you can't just go, this map fucking blows, what the hell are you doing, fire him now, or, you know, maybe you meet the guy from QA, who I've been railing on all week, and he's the head of QA, and now maybe you don't call for his head to get fired, because you just shook his head and had a beer with him, so, I mean, it happens, but that's, like, the, the nice side of the spectrum, but, like, I, yeah, I mean, I, on, on high ends, like, IGN, I wouldn't doubt it that there's... You know, there's verbal be agreements or, or just implied threats or absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well, regarding the, the YouTuber thing, that you have to understand that, and this isn't a knock on anybody in particular, but most of the people they're flying out are not journalists or they're not professionals right. in this field. They're right. fans of the game. So when you fly out a 20-year-old kid to a hotel room in London for to have him play the game early and report on it and give him footage so he can put it on his YouTube channel. Dog tag. Yeah, there's no <laughs> way. There's not going to be any uh, integrity. Goodwill, with absolutely. You know, it's impossible to assume that. You're getting a but, get uh, out of jail free that, card. I put that PC Magazine link in the chat if you want to check it out. I'm afraid to click it because I'm afraid it's going to go over the stream. Uh, well, let's see. No, but you can no. It's from, it's on MGR. It's 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 readily available. No, I see it. I no, I just didn't want it to come over everything. Oh, well, can okay. somebody uh, before we get too far uh, off? The, can somebody explain the fifty gigabyte install to me? Like, God. <laughs> <laughs> like what is that? That's insanity. How about there, the fact that it requires six gigs of RAM but only uses two? But like, like did they? Uh, what is fifty? Did anybody look in here and figure out what this is? Because the game looks terrible. It looks terrible. You can't yeah. tell me it's high dev resolutions. I, I, well, I don't know. Did somebody forget to like, you know, 
efficiently save the files? Like, what, it's what Infinity happened? War, man. It's just it, what, they it's have never like done a good PC. gigabytes or something. It's something absurd. I was just like, that can't be. That can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> That's without it's, DLC. Yeah. Well, unless it's, it's only going to get worse. There and they just unlock it's, it. I don't know. Uh, but but I, you know, I think I, somebody would have found that by now. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure somebody would have found that by now. I'd, I'd, I honestly think, and this, this is something that I'd, I've kind of touched on in, in some of my YouTube videos where I said that, I, you know, PC and consoles kind of always give each other the, the back and forth. You know, PCs improve the, the innovative hardware and stuff, and, and consoles tend to are, are generally forced to improve the software due to hardware constraints you know we don't get the 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 ability to just upgrade parts whenever we want to upgrade our stuff right, so i i used to believe that normally under <laughs> normal circumstances that like your your console guys when they release something that's mainly for console it's going to be smaller in size because they have a smaller platform to put it on but this this whole 50, 50 gigabytes, I don't know where this even comes Dude, from. Dude, I could take Battlefield 3, Skyrim, Grand Theft Auto when it comes out. I mean, it's all going to be combined yeah. less I mean, than that. I heard, <laughs> I heard, I, I can't confirm, I've heard that the PC version has 4K textures. Where are I they at? Uh, yeah. I'm, just, that's, I'm just telling you what I heard. I, <laughs> where are they at? That's Did what they put I'm an 8-bit? filter over it like battlefield did the four the blue screen over oh, everything right. I, I, I was, like, that was the thing that probably shocked me the most like obviously whether you like it or not i enjoy it sometimes for what i enjoy it for getting in messing around playing right you know i don't really take it very seriously but it always looked decent like even modern warfare 3 i thought it looked pretty decent it was chaotic whatever but the art the, you know, you, i liked being in that environment black ops 2 this one i watched and I, you know i haven't played it so maybe youtube is washing it scrubbing it down a little but i looked at it, i was like i think even the 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 guys look stiff. They just the models don't look. I, I thought it terrible. Engine, man. Yeah, it's just yeah. no. It's a new engine. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a new new new, new code. Uh, and then uh, last, I want to touch on this because we'll just move along. Because Cloud, you've been off with, off of quiet, so I want to get you to your your wheelhouse a little bit. But uh, uh, <laughs> we're specialized. And Nick, this is again probably they have sold right. They've sold a billion dollars worth of worth of product. Have they not? They have so yes, but <laughs> but. These guys they are have, outrageous. I, these guys like the, the highway side scam. Yeah. It's, it's it's so uh, funny. It, it's they so have funny. not. They're they're be they're well behind Black Ops Two sales. I can tell you that first. Yeah. They're well they're behind. Gonna, they're going to say the next gen is, is the reason, right? They have said yes. Uh, I can tell you that they are close to seven figures behind in pre-orders from Black Ops Two. The one. <laughs> so, even if there's a one-to-one -one take ratio on next gen, which there won't be. Right. No. <laughs> no. Right. There's no. There's no way in hell that it's going to outsell previous Call of Duties. Now, I wonder how they're going to count that $10 upgrade. They'll probably count that as a whole other sale. I would assume so. You know, they'll yeah. just they'll just bloat yeah. the numbers now. Like, wow, we got people to buy it twice. You know, <laughs> two units. It'll be you know ten dollars. Would be next. I just I read that. I was like, these guys just don't. They they don't live in reality. They they just. They, uh, oh. It's Activision ten year cycle. They do it for every one of their smash hits. They did it with uh, yeah. Guitar Hero. They did it with Tony Hawk. Uh, Scribble Nos is going to be the next one to come after Call of Duty. They don't. Know, they don't care. Which shows you that they don't care, and they don't. They don't give a shit, and they don't. I want to say they don't get it, but maybe they're just smarter than me. What did they do today or yesterday? They announced the next one. Mm -hmm. Today, <laughs> oh, yeah. all the negative the press, report. all the bad vibe, people with pitchforks and raging. Oh, by the way, we got another one coming next year, guys. Like, wouldn't you wait? Like, even if you're planning on announcing it right now, wouldn't you wait? Like just go, you guys. You because know what? Uh, we we can the, wait. A lot of the stuff that it's came a, out was to please investors. That's why. Yeah, I mean, it's you always know? about the stocks, but yeah. I just think, I mean, wouldn't somebody go? You know what? <laughs> Maybe yeah. we don't want to announce the next one this. Let's week. Give, give it a month. Maybe a quarter. Yeah. We'll we'll, we'll put chill it in. out a little bit. Maybe announce a DLC, or, or you know, <laughs> let's talk about a patch. <laughs> like, but don't tell me you're shipping another one. Uh, but I guess they, what is it, Sledgehammer? They're going to go to third development house? So yeah. Maybe I, that's good news. I don't know. I've heard rumors that Sledgehammer is going to take over next year's, and that's Treyarch's going to so. push two years from now with a brand new engine. I've heard that. Uh, I obviously, that doesn't go past just me hearing it from a random person. I did but, see Sledgehammer 2014 somewhere. It, it could be in yeah, chat. It could be on Twitter. And I can tell you Sledgehammer is not going to be working with Treyarch, because Treyarch is, is Activision's new go-to. They have been since Black Ops 1 because right. Infinity Ward hasn't existed since mm. the beginning of Modern Warfare 2, yeah, technically right. speaking. The Infinity Ward that we all have in our head, which is now basically Respawn. respawn. Right. Um, 
And I can tell you, Vaughn has been working on Ghost the last two months to help him get it ready because it's, it was such a shit show getting it together. Wow, really? Yeah. So. <laughs> and it's still what they came out of. Wow. Yeah. So I think you're gonna see because and Activision has a next gen engine. I mean, they were, they've been talking about it for the past, that like, nine face, months. The face stuff we've been seeing and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. I think you're going to see Treyarch in 2015 come out with a new game. I would I assume. Mean, it makes hey, sense, but, you know, who knows? I'll sit here and bash it. And, and I'm not really bashing COD here. I'm bashing a bad release. Because, I mean, the Medal of Honor Warfighter, I did the same thing. You know, it's, it's not necessarily a, a BF. I, I enjoy COD. I don't really want to yeah. see its demise. Uh, wow, that could have made a funny Battlefield joke out of that, I guess. But... <laughs> You know, I do want to see Battlefield take the front, the forefront. Uh, you know, I do. It's my, it's my franchise. But I don't want to see COD die. So I like hearing that they're at least gonna, at some point, innovate. Hopefully, at at least Treyarch does the competitive thing. Which I mean, and I, I had this, and I was gonna skip it. Maybe I'll just talk about it. There's just been no hype for this, and and I like they didn't do like the COD XP. Wasn't that that big event? Yeah, they they haven't did. done anything, man. But I, and, and then then they had the million million dollar tournament later in Black Ops Two, right? Yeah. That was just like six months ago, right? Was wasn't that yeah, like something like that? But I mean, those things are great. Like I, I mean, as a BF guy, I, I watch that stuff. So I just feel like there's no buzz even leading up to this one, and now it's just going to be dead in two months. I think so. I, I don't know. It's kind of crazy to me. It's I, I didn't, I, I, I felt like Battlefield had a good chance to to overtake them now, but now I think that, I think it's there. The Battlefield, yeah. But Battlefield might be their own worst enemy right now. So we'll, we'll, only time will tell, obviously. So with that, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll segue right into the Battlefield Four launch, and uh, <laughs> so yeah. Um. Yeah, just yeah. I absolutely <laughs> adore the game. I do. I adore the game. But with Battlefield 3, the whole kind of idea was we're playing a beta, right? Like Battlefield 3, at the end of it, we're like, all right, we, we played the beta for two years. Now we're going to play the real game with Battlefield 4. And we're not. We're still playing what is essentially a beta, you know, with well, server-side crashes, client cla- uh, crashes, shitty net code, which everyone loves tossing around, which is not the case. Um, that whole pendulum is swinging back now on the net code. Yeah. It's, it's great. It's funny. It cracks me up. So yeah. Well, all right. Let me ask you this, and then everybody: Are, are we are we beta testing Battlefield, or are we beta testing Frostbite? Is, is that's kind of where I'm at now? Because now we got two games with a lot of the same issues. You know, I, I think we're beta testing the engine now more than we're beta testing the game. So, uh, what do what do you guys think about that? I, I mean, I agree. I think that's what it is. Because, I mean, you have the same problems in Battlefield 3 that you did Battlefield 4. And, I mean, it's now just worse. But it's not like we're having... I mean, there are different issues. But the, the, some of the core ones are still there. And I think it's a lot of it down to the engine. Yeah. Well, see, I'll, I'll write off, like, the, the servers crashing. Stuff like that. that that's mm. that's going to get fixed. That has to get fixed. It's already seemingly getting fixed. I mean, that, a month from now, we might not really even realize that, that it was so bad as it was. Mm. To me, obviously, again, I'm just going to use... The, 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 no, hit hit notification, hit detection, net code at large. Uh, these were problems in Battlefield 3, and I've seen a lot of articles the last day or two saying it took so many months until that was fixed. Was it fixed? Like I, I didn't hate on the the. Let's, I'm just gonna use net code. It's an easy it's an easy umbrella term. I didn't mind it in Battlefield 3. I just learned to play with it. I almost didn't know any better after a while, but I know a lot of guys. A lot of guys hated it in Battlefield, Battlefield 3, and I know competitive guys. It's really kind of, what, amongst other things, what, what they felt held it back. But <clears throat> I don't know that I felt like it was ever drastically changed. I mean, I think I think in some ways suppression just muddied the water, and you just didn't really realize. Yeah, you know, it was I still think there. that's the case. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I want to hope it's going to get fixed. It might get tightened up, but I don't know that it's ever going to be great. Well, what, let me ask you a question. What is the core consensus with this whole bad net code thing? Is it hit detection? Is it being shot around corners? Like, what's the deal? Because I, I honestly don't have that many problems with that. Well, first thing for me, and, and Cloud, I know probably you don't have much firsthand knowledge right now, but uh, for me, the biggest the biggest thing, it's not even like it's a, it's a lag of information. Uh, and I would say the worst part for me is the hit notification telling you you're being hit. Yes. That okay. to me yeah. is, the, if you're going to tell me one thing's a game breaker, that's it. I can't play if I don't know I'm being hit. Like getting shot around corners, I can outplay that, so to speak. Like, you know, I just learned, like I did a video, I was saying, I used to run down the middle of the street in Battlefield 3 saying one hit, two hit, I'm good, three hit, shit, I got to go. You know, now it's like I see an enemy, I got to go because I, I have no yeah. warning. I, it's just, you know, same thing around a corner. I'm shooting around a corner, a guy pops his head out. I can get back. Just real quick, like I just retreat right away. Like you can, oh, you can compensate. I guess is what I'm saying. The lack of notification, like I'm running down, I don't even realize I'm hurt. You know, I'm, I'm at 50 health. I don't even know it. Like that to me is the biggest issue. No, uh, you know, it, it really is. It's just like I have to anticipate and 
it's like, I'm, okay, you know, I'm going to play like I'm going to get hit when I run down this way or this way. So I'm running here. Let me run. You have to, like, take that step previously behind cover just so you anticipate getting hit because half the time you do. When playing Battlefield 3, it's like I get hit. I can go behind cover. Battlefield 4, it's just like I get hit. There's no way I can make it. I'm going to die. There's right. no way. It's and like, it's just. Yeah, that's it, an it's easy just, shot. He should yeah. hit me. I have to assume he's going to hit me. Oh, yep, there's the hit marker. He did hit me. I'm already dead. <laughs> uh, like I've already adapted in the first week. I've gotten a lot better about it, but I shouldn't have to, and that's the that's the problem with me. Hit detect, like hit detection, like hit markers on people. Uh, it's hard right now to say that could be servers. You know, everything contributes to that. I mean, everything contributes to everything, I guess. But my biggest thing is the notification. You got to tell me I'm getting hit. You got to tell me I'm in the bad spot. You got to I got to move. You know, so that's my biggest thing, and that's why I use netcode to just umbrella all those three. You know, <laughs> it's not an umbrella term, damn it. <laughs> it is for me. Uh, I'm a noob. I don't claim to be a tech. I don't care. <laughs> See, I just I have like actual glitches. That's my biggest issue. Like, 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 like I'm a, I'm an armor guy. I like just See, that's, not, that's what I enjoy problem. doing. Yeah. And if I'm not getting stuck on something, I'm seeing my tow missiles oh. fly through tanks. Oh. You know, if, if that's not the case, I'm just glitching out in the tank and bouncing across the road and sliding everywhere <laughs> like it's freaking See, Tokyo as an guy, I love that that's not a glitch that's a feature you know and it's just <laughs> yeah, yeah but uh it's just like it just seems like a step backwards like I don't understand why these issues still exist because this should be ironed out well wow. pretty handily I think by now you know what I see a ton of as an infantry guy false corners you know you shoot mm. a rock a corner whatever you're shooting your bullets are going nowhere then you realize you're hitting the corner in front of your the bars on Operation Locker, I want to take a chainsaw and cut them down. Like, <laughs> some Please. of them you can shoot through, some you can't. It's 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 befuddling. It's those things. Now you know. You're like, just don't even try. Don't even do it. Like, but I've seen so many. Like, you used to Battlefield Four or uh, Three. You would you you started to learn those corners. There was like three maybe on every map. You're like, yeah, this this little edge is iffy. But I think it's also the, the like the mantle thing where you rise up over things and it's that's what I've seen as far as glitchy a lot. Like I I'll be shooting. My bullets. So why am I not getting him? Oh, because I'm not. I'm hitting the rock in front of me. That's actually not there, but it seemingly is. <laughs> yeah. You know, but that's about the, probably the worst glitch. A stumbling too. I get snagged on everything, but that's that's Battlefield Three too. There's just more shit on these maps. There's more stuff on these maps. It's it's like Bunny Hop Central. You just got to bunny hop everything. But even then, it doesn't seem to work as well. But yeah, I haven't had so many glitches. It's just been annoyances, I guess, in that sense. But all right. Well, I got a question then. How do you guys enjoy the Levolution? I've been playing Dom. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and Rush. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of all of them. I mean, I think I think it's pretty safe to say now it's a gimmick. Uh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, do, do, is it a good gimmick? Yeah. Does it add things? Uh, some of them are fine. Like, I think Flood Zone is interesting. I'm I hate. To, that's the one oh, I hate. The, well, I, I hate just think it, I think it actually does something to the map. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, it, it, it does. It the changes most my the map. It changes my yeah. thinking. Uh, you know, what's that? Paracel with the storm is pretty cool. I don't, the mm -hmm. boat is nothing to me, but the storm isn't. You know, like I hate the storm. Lankang, uh, what is that? That seemed like we needed one more map. Let's just make another dam that falls apart yeah. for some reason. Uh, Shanghai, I guess. The you know, like I mean, it, I don't. I don't hate it. I don't love it. You know, I. I think it's the the smaller evolution. The, the 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 grates, the walkways, you know, the the fire extinguisher, the gasoline you can blow up, the oil, those things yeah. I like. Those that's things, cool. The, the yeah. minutia, mm -hmm. but the evolution's kind of. <laughs> but I, I think we all kind of knew that was going to be the case. After a week or two, we're just going to be kind of like, all right, there goes the tower again. Oh great, I got to swim this time. You know, like. Yeah, I just so. don't like the negative effects it has on some of the maps. Like we all know Shang, uh, Shanghai, yeah. with the, it makes it ugly. I mean, it just does. Like that's yeah. just the. But like uh, Flood Zone, to me, it makes that map play horrible on Conquest after the fact. It's a cool idea, and I mean, I appreciate right. what it does in terms of, uh, you know, changing the map and changing your thinking, and that's that's fantastic. That's never been done really before, as far as I know. But uh, in terms of how it plays, though, I think they, that was an afterthought. You know, I think how they played after the fact is an afterthought. Well, I think like, the whole thing was, oh, it's going to be more infantry friendly because of the dust cloud. Yeah. But it's not friendly for anybody, really. I mean, it just makes it look like crap. Yeah. Well, wait until know? Oman. Hmm. I'm telling you right now. It's going to be... Jesus. They better bring goggles or sunglasses or something, because it's going to be a big dust cloud. I'm telling you right now. Mm -hmm. It's a dust storm, and it's going to be even worse. <laughs> what, uh, what's going on with Caspian? Is there a revolution in Caspian now? The tower no, falls. Uh, the tower has been moved onto the hilltop. 
Oh, okay. And the the wall is now a concrete wall. Like you literally and can't it's like, go through. It's it. like fifteen or. Oh yeah, you gotta use like twenty satchels of C four to get through or something. There's tunnels right? yep. you can get through, yep. and then the levolution falls through, and that kind of supposed to open it up. But it looked. Inter- I've heard nothing but good reviews. So unless those guys got bags of cash, I believe them. Hmm. But because that, that's the map, the one map they did actually play. So, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, well, I guess we'll talk about maps because that was my second topic there. So, what do you guys think of map design? Because even though we just kind of crapped on it a little bit, I really like it. I think it's a yeah, fast no, improvement mm-hmm. of Battlefield yeah. 3. Um, I think they might have dialed it too far. I think there's too much like clutter on like you know rooftops of flood zone is just like Oof. I know the routes and I still can't navigate that son of a bitch. But like. I didn't think I'd like Galmud Railway or whatever. I, that might be up there with my, some of my favorite maps. That's a really good rush map. Yeah, that's... The, when I you're running through the rush. towns uphill, yeah. that's a fantastic map. But Everything's what's the one... Bad Company 2 elements. It's, what's the one with the dam that, that explodes that really does Lang nothing Kang. but... Lang, that map Lang on Kang. Conquest Lang is Kong. broken as far as I'm concerned. Oh, when you can spawn and see your enemies spawn from across... <laughs> yep. it, it, it's like Shanghai without the cover of buildings. It's just a U... But you yeah, can spawn yeah. kill from someone. When you can spawn kill from your spawn, no, it's broken. It's like they designed the forty <laughs> time scope for that map. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. like you spawn the attack bows, like you as soon as you spawn in the game, you can shoot each other right away from the yeah. Across. It's, it's just like you can't have that. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like again, I mean, I said this about Battlefield Three. It's a game that like so much potential, and I feel like they they did they did a good job. They're pushing the envelope. I really think they are. But I just they just miss the mark, you know. It's like, what is it, the Hainan Resort, the Rush? Like, mm-hmm. what's that first stage? You're in a boat for eighty percent of the map. Have you said Paris, uh, Parcel Storm on Rush? Have you ever played that one? I don't think I have played that one yet. If you're an attacker, you get an attack boat, and you it is Rape <laughs> City on the defending team. I had um, the game crashed on me, so I don't have it saved, which is fantastic. But I had with three MComs to go. I had like I was like forty eight and three. It was all you do is get in the boat and you just sit back far enough where they can't hit you. When you use the the Bob waves, just to take out the entire first rush wave because you're they're on the uh, broken aircraft carrier. It was just I'm like sitting there laughing at this. Like, is this really what they yeah, intended yeah. with this map? Yeah, see, I feel like the, it was optimized for conquest. Like for me, it's just I go play that. It's just seemed like that's the domination's fun. But I go play. I played rush. I I I leave. I can't I can't take rush on some of those maps. It's like conquest for me. It's just it seems like it just flows better. For the most part, some maps like the Lancame Dam are just terrible with the spawns like that. But I don't know. Maybe it's just because I played more Conquest than anything else. But it just it just seems like th- they play out better than Rush or even like even Domination and sl- Obliteration for the most part. Yeah, like I, I kind of rule Obliteration out. To me, I'm never playing Obliteration by myself. First of all, like I'm gonna have it's I'm gonna have a squad of guys to play with, and I'll enjoy it. But I feel like I'm chasing the carrot at the end of the stick the whole round of Obliteration. It's kind of annoying like that, but. You, it's tug of war. <laughs> yeah. It's tug of war. But what uh, what's that map that's in? The, it it kind of me me and my friend joke is it looks like a Halo Four map actually. It's like bright bright Dawn lights. In, Dawn, that map I actually enjoy a lot. I didn't think I would, but I've heard nothing but good yeah. things. I think yeah, I've I only, actually enjoy that map a lot. I think I've only played that in Domination. Yet. Like I haven't played a lot of Rush, and it seems like the ones I play are on Zavid, Gomud. It, it's I don't know why it's keep the same ones keep coming up forever, but. I've heard a lot of 311 I'm not really a fan of. Any time that you have to play freaking Axeman in the map to get through the wooded areas is just <laughs> See, not for me. I love me. that. I think it's hilarious. I might not like it when I actually do it. but <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I've played that on Rush a bunch of times, which I'm not impressed by. But it's very short. It's like you could throw a grenade to the next MCOM. It feels <laughs> like anyway. Yeah. But I'm trying to th- – I don't think – obviously I played Domination on it. I played a lot of – I don't know if I played Conquest on it yet though. Played Obliteration on it. But yeah, I, I, even though, but I mean, we can nitpick for a, a long time. I, I think it's miles ahead of Battlefield Three. I just think even ones I don't really like. I'm trying to think of. It's like Flood Zone is either I love it or I hate it. It's, but there's just so many routes. It's it's you're not gonna get those Sens, the Metros, the Grand Bazaars are like three alleys and that's it. That's what I like. And the destruction. I mean, I panned the destruction in beta, but that was just for Shanghai. I love the destruction on a lot of them. You can destroy a lot of stuff. Yeah. Everything inside is destroyable. Uh, you know, that's you almost good... have to remind yourself yeah. when you're playing. Like, oh wait, I can go through that wall. I'm actually carrying a noob tube these days, not to like piss people off. <laughs> that's a topic. What do you guys think about the fact that they gave an explosive to every class starting out? 
Uh, I thought it was going to be worse than it has been, to be quite honest. Beta was bad. Beta was really bad. Yeah, so... Uh, I can't again. I haven't played a ton. Cloud, you played a lot more than me. Maybe you could speak that out a little better. I'm surprised that the XM25 haven't been killed as much of it. Yeah. Like the beta, that's like the only thing I got ever killed by was the XM25 and the AK12. That was it. I mean, maybe that's because it was just the rooftops, but and right. these maps are like more flat. But I don't know. It's just like I guess for some ways you can go play the like any class and you have a way to deal with vehicles now it's not just this oh crap here's a tank okay just sit here i'm just gonna stand here and let him kill me because well that, that the airburst says nothing against vehicles though right I mean, yeah but it, you're talking the C4. fact that you can shoot it and get hit markers makes people think oh i'm damaging it i can yeah. hurt it you're doing like three a shot though yeah <laughs> like, trust me i've tried yeah but yeah. Uh, i hate c4 oh, c4 is the last unlock for support i hate that i hate that so much i hate claymores, <laughs> claymores. i haven't seen that many i've seen a lot all of a sudden they got really? everybody unlocked them all of a sudden uh, if i yeah, had to hit that level huh yeah, yeah great. You, you know when they do because all of a sudden you're like <laughs> seriously and i mean good luck they're, on flex zone yeah they're better than battlefield 3 battlefield 3 is just like this little thing in the ground that was like it looked like it just blended right in i mean at least they have like the Medal of honor thing like the pdms that have the strings yeah. going out you can now see them i mean it's better to still yeah i'm starting to get a little better at those but my dumb ass is just running I, you know i don't i'm not thinking that yet but i've i've died to that a lot i'm just like <laughs> no good but yeah it kind of pisses me off but i like that everybody does have a, have a way to at least like you said at least like scare off a uh some armor. Puppy, you, you're not amused right now? What? You're no. Bored right keep, now? keep going. You're just trying to ignore that you, you haven't been able to play? Uh, yeah, I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to mope. I don't want to mope, so I'm staying out of it. Wait till you get in the attack boat. You can really see what how ridiculous some of the armor is in the game. Oh. Because that thing is a bit OP. Attack boat and AA. I, I've heard the attack boat's a little retarded. So. It's, it's a, it takes more damage than a tank, I'm convinced. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Well, then let's let's talk about class balance a little bit because I, I have that li written on here. I think they actually did a pretty good job here. I see a lot of different classes being played. Uh, Cloud, mm -hmm. I know you're supporting it up. I think I've seen you play some recon. I've obviously been assault. I don't know, Nick, what you've been. You said you're more tanking, so I'm, I'm yeah. imagining engineer. Yeah, that's my my go-to. Now, what do you think that do you think it's class balance or do you think it's stuff like you said? There's there's now explosives in every class, and there's also like a good weapon class of uh, carbines for you know anybody can use these guns. These guns are very good so like what do you what do you think lends more to the balance if you think it's balanced because I, I happen to but i i do think it's balanced uh i think the gun balance is much better this time around you know i i really do i think like in engineer and battlefield 3 you kind of felt shorthanded you always just kind of felt like you got the shit end of the stick but uh not yeah engineer i said right uh, -huh. uh but in terms of the explosive stuff i'm not too sold on that i think everything needs a needs a a weakness to a certain degree. Like I shouldn't have to worry about an assault guy if I'm in a tank. I mean, I know, yeah, it's only a noob tube, but and I know, we, yeah, they had him in Battlefield Three, but even yeah. so, like you, you now have to second guess going into an engagement with three players when you're in a tank, and that shouldn't be the case. Like right. I understand there should be balance, but the tank should be the trump card that you have to work as a team to get rid of, not a recon with C4. Like that to me is just a little too. Well, what about the time C4 now? I hate that. I think that's... Yeah. I mean, I don't know the details of it, so maybe I'm not... But I didn't even know they had this until the other day. And I'm like, well, that takes all... Like, at least then, somebody do C4 on you, you had a chance. Like, you could kill the guy and then get away with it. But mm -hmm. now it's like, you're done. I mean, am I wrong? It's just not working. No, you're 100% right. I, I, I have no, no time with them at all. But I was like, really? Why would you do that? That seems to throw off a lot of that balance. But, yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, you should be afraid of the, the, the medic... Because he might revive the engineer, not because he's going to noob tube your ass, but exactly. Um, at the same time, I play medic all the time, and it, it's the worst feeling in the world that you can do nothing to it. Like, I mean, so maybe you should only be able to mobility hit it or something. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, I get it. I mean, I and I understand what they did because you don't want to be stuck between a, a rock and a hard place if you're if you choose to run one kit. But it just seems to me that just by playing armor, a lot of players are more ballsy. You know, like I see a lot oh, more yeah. players popping their heads out to take on a tank than I did in Battlefield Three, and that says something, you know. But I mean, I get why they did it. I can't, I can't be mad. It's not like I'm, you know, struggling here. It's just, it's just one of those yeah, things. Every, that well, think. everybody's a threat now, so they've magnified exactly. the threats by four. You know, it's not just a little bit, but and probably more because nobody used to really play engineer. So yeah, I mean, I get it. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. I was like going to talk about how recognize, like I'm having a hard time recognizing people. You guys notice that the guys in the, the flight suits, 
Is that pilots that had to eject? What is? Nobody else has noticed that? There's guys sometimes in the maps, and maybe chat, you can tell me this, or I'm crazy. Uh, I, I only had this the other day. Like, I'm running around. There's guys, you know, Chinese like uniforms, you're getting used to those uniforms. There's dudes in flight suits with parachutes the whole nine yards. And I'm just wondering if those are pilots that had to eject. And I, I meant to look that up, but you were just talking about kind of seeing people and recognizing them. So maybe Chad will answer that for me. But uh, yes. Yeah, uh, I think it's when you're flying. Oh, I yeah, think I'm that's actually what's right happening. Now. So that must have been somebody that bailed out of it. All right. So, nice yeah. little detail. <laughs> yeah, that's what, the first. I actually knifed the guy. I was like, what is this guy? What, where did this guy come from? Like, what, what kind of dice, whatever he does he have? But all right. What do you, uh, what's everyone's thoughts on Operation Metro 2.0 being Operation Locker? <laughs> oh, yeah. God. I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, well, now, how does it play? Because I've played it at Domination. I'm trying to think what I played. I played on, like, Small Conquest. Like, is there any more to that map? I played every. I mean, I played obliter obliteration. Is just like, would you like to go play an infinite round of team deathmatch? <laughs> go play. I, I played obliteration. It was, I think, it was forty-five minutes, and there was a guy on, on whatever chat thing is like, some guy was saying forty-five minutes. Wow, it's a long time. He goes, yeah, whatever. Yesterday was like, you know, eighty, ninety minutes for one round I because saw guy. Wow. the bomb just gets it moves forward and then back and then forward and then back and that's it. People I just sit there and I shoot. Think it was one of the guys from the showdown. Time. He played obliteration. I think he's on Xbox. I had no timer. He had like 400. He was like 460. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Yeah, cool. I was like, wow, you got some weapon unlocks going there. Huh? Uh, I think yeah, they I mean, did, if you they did add the and timer. the server though, crashed. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I said. Uh, I think they did add the timer though now, right? Or is that a server setting now? Because I, I, I played the other day and I got a draw. Because the only way that will happen is a timer, right? So, yeah, if you're playing sure on yeah. PC. I, I, truth is, I wasn't playing. My buddy was playing. I was over his shoulder. He got a draw, and I was like, whoa, uh, I guess they added a timer? I don't know. Maybe that min just said enough. <laughs> Clicked hmm. it. I don't know. But, yeah, I, I, Locker, I, listen, I don't think it's Metro. I think, I think it's what Metro it, was supposed it, to yeah, be. Yeah, it, I think it has the feel. Obviously, I see it's, it's yeah. his cousin. I think it's way better than Metro, though. There's just a lot going on, but there's still good. I, I don't think you should be playing 64 man at the same time. Well, so. I tried with yeah. TDM, yeah. not not ejective TDM. It is hell. Like it, well, it's too it's random. worse. All, all you like like I post like a small clip today of just what it's like for 64 man. It is literally you see nothing but white on your screen from flashbangs. It is just flashbang. As soon as everyone unlocks it, that's all you will see. That in the areas. And then what what is the other thing? The flares, right? I haven't seen those yet, but they uh, they blind you basically. Is that what they do, right. or they or are they more smoke thing? Does anybody know? Have you seen I haven't. Them? I've only seen them like yeah, once, and then like I killed like right as I was looking at. So I don't know. This is awesome. I'm, I'm locked out of my own chat for another two minutes. What the fuck is going <laughs> on? Uh, you guys don't know, but every time we do one of these, puppy, what oh, was it? The first time was what? Chat went down, right? Yeah, the like, whole chat went chat. down. We were trying to use like some. Second time we did the second episode was when thing. Twitch went down. Like Twitch went. We were doing the cast. It went down. If you left my stream, you couldn't come back or something. I don't know. Yeah. We went on. We were talking like two hours. We realized it was three people watching. Hmm. And then the last time, I forget. Ah, it's, it's always something. But I guess that's Twitch. But uh, yeah, what else do I got? I don't know. I got it here. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about some extra things. Cause I know pa, I think it was Polly asked about battle screens. Have you guys used those at all? Uh, yes, I, I, I use have. It in, I use it in beta. I haven't used it yet. And, <laughs> is it work all right? I, mean, I, I love it. I honestly, if you're playing with with a squad that that is is spotting things and stuff, it's fantastic. No, what, it how really do you do? Is. You do tablet or you do second screen? Like a, I use second, second screen. Yeah, that's what it, that's what I would imagine. I do. Yeah. I, you know, I've been playing domination predominantly, so there's really no value in that. Uh, but yeah, I no. could see it in rush or obliteration, that kind of thing. I yeah, I I don't really think of it yet. Cloud, are you use it at all? It, no, I mean it, it's just well, I man. I just got PC, so I guess still have the one monitor oh, here. True. And it just definitely get a second one. It, yeah. yeah, it it just it doesn't come to mind yet. It's just battle screen. This battle screen because I play. I got That's my PC in like basically start of October, like right as the beta came out, and it's like a whole new game for me. And I'm still getting adjusted to it. And it's just like the battle screen idea still hasn't computed with me that Same it's with there me. and I should use it. Yeah, I I use it a couple times in beta, and I, just because I was playing domination, I was like, there's no need in domination. But yeah, yeah I could. Have, I need to be more conscious of it. And obviously, he asked about commander on tablet. That's not available yet. But have you either? Of you guys messed with commander at all? I have not. I have not touched it. No, I'm here, buddy. No. See, oh. I, I guess maybe that's maybe that's an answer right there. It's really <laughs> good with uh, if you're running air, 
if you're in a chopper, it's actually really, really good because now you have it's even more so than than air radar because you have an overview of the entire map, and if the other person gets if the other enemy chopper or jet gets spotted, you ha you know exactly where they are. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, you're talking about the battle screen. Well, mm -hmm. I guess yeah. with the commander, then yeah, yeah. I guess anybody's spotting it. That's true. Yeah, it's, it extends your radar basically. I need to try. Excuse me. I need to try that, but I know I know we were playing Obliteration the other night. I think it was I think it was Jaxley or one of the guys were were jumping in there, and actually I think he ended up on the other team though. But uh, it definitely makes a difference. I mean, you see things dropping in on your head, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And obviously you have more uh, awareness of what's going on around you through the UAVs and things. But you know, I again, do you guys think that's more of a gimmick? Do you think that's? I mean, let's let's say do you. I guess we'll use competitive as the rule. Let's say competitive goes. It starts to, you know, level battlefield is going strong. You got leagues or tournaments. Do you think they're going to use it or do you think they're going to omit it? I think they're going to omit it. Yeah. I think I think they'd use it just because um, in the previous battlefields where they had commander mode, they, they allowed it, you know, in the ones that I played in, um, you know, in the competitions that I played in, they allowed a uh, commander. Of course, in, in that version, the commander was on the battlefield. But at the same yeah, time, you know, like... The, the stuff that they're doing, like, uh, typically with the competitive game modes, as long as it's not like a game mode like Obliteration or Rush where it focuses on one area, which is probably the better one to have for competitive, but so long as it's not that... Right, you drop then, a tomahawk on the... Yeah. Right, because yeah. then you just sit there and, and spam tomahawks and stuff on the uh, objective, and it's, it's, it's yeah, that's, that's a little OP. But so long as it's not necessarily that's not the case, then I, I can see it happening. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, we, we, we spoke, we said it's going to be 5v5, 10v10 to start. So there's really no place for it there, I don't think. I mean, maybe. If anybody's going to figure out, it's going to be those guys. But I mean, they could limit it, too. They could take away some type of yeah. options. Just That's right. just always a possibility. So I mean, even just the ability to sit there and coordinate you know, comms with people. Like a coach. Know, like direct. A coach. Yeah, I mean, that that's going to have a... I mean, especially with those guys who will listen and execute. I mean, that could be... Jesus, that could be OP right there. But, you know... Speaking I think of we commander are, mode... Has anyone used the uh, AC-130? No. I don't think, no. I don't anyone... even think I've been in it. I mean, I've played some Conquest, but I don't think... They I may been... as well take it out of the game. Is that... I hope they do. It well, is yeah, on record pointless. Over it, is, over it is so useless. Like, we were, I was actually in it before. It, you get hit markers with the, with the largest uh, pack. I think they're all the, air, all the like, air assets have that problem, don't they? Yeah, shooting, all the, the support shop is just marshmallows, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we watched the same video, I guess. Hmm. Now, why do you say that it's just the guns on the C-130, or is it the radius it, of turn? It's the guns, it's the radius. I mean, you bail out, you're out of the map, and you can't get back in, basically. <laughs> it's the whole thing is, it's a, it's death sentence. It's a waste of time. But, I mean, I guess it's better than what it originally was with when Armored Kill first launched. Oh, my God. So, basically was, what you're telling me is they got it, they got it wrong one way, OP, to dominate the map. Now they've gone the complete other way. I, yeah. I, that's how they like to balance things, though, isn't it? The binary way they they, they go to. Uh, I, mean, I, I don't. I think it's just a matter of it just doesn't work in the game. It doesn't. No matter what no, you do, it doesn't fit. Yeah. Yeah. It's and that's okay. You know, like it's okay. It doesn't work. Take it out. It's got to be demise's baby. It's it's, it's, it's got to be somebody high up's baby. It, it, I don't understand why would you keep it in? It doesn't. It hasn't worked for a minute since they put it in. Uh, but I mean, if you're telling me it's underpowered, then fine. I guess it provides a spawn point, right, still? Or no? Yeah, I guess, but... Yeah, I mean... I don't like... It's the... still just, uh... It's pointless. Use <laughs> it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You'll be like, yeah, this is pointless. See, now I will use it because I used to not use it because I felt dirty using it. Even if it was oh, just a spawn. was so dirty. Yeah, I just... But yeah. now I'll be like, oh, it's it's okay. It's 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 ethically okay to spawn in here. <laughs> so, uh, last thing I have on here... Uh, unless you, I mean, if you, we can guys bring up other topics. Uh, probably this... You can speak to this, though. Uh, Battlefield 4 and Xbox will support head tracking and voice commands. What does this mean? Tell me. I, do you not know what that means? All right. No, so I like, do, but I mean, is this really a thing? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be a thing? All right. So like right now, in a uh, chopper, I could see maybe. In a well, like right now in a chopper, dude. I, for, okay, first off, I didn't learn that you could even do this in Battlefield 3 on console until like literally a week before Battlefield 4 launched. But apparently, if you hold down on the D-pad, you can actually look around. In the cockpit, like I thought, we just weren't allowed to look around. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. like you know, I didn't, I didn't even I'm going know to that check was your possible. score per minute in the chopper right now. Yeah, yeah it's terrible. <laughs> Jet's even worse. Don't, don't even. I thought everybody out. went third person view. 
<laughs> maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. But no, like uh, I, I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, you know, and, and back when I was trying to become a better uh, chopper and jet pilot, I, I would watch people's videos, and mostly the, all the tips were PC guys. And you know, you'd see them looking around in the cockpit. They'd fly out to third person and back in. Then they look around in the cockpit more. And I'm like, I can't do that because we have buttons. We have we have a yeah, lot you, of buttons. We you can, guys, we can you do guys things. Have, a ton more buttons, but now with head tracking, man, I mean, come on, that's awesome. All I'm going to have to do is just look, right, and it turns. Like, I mean, you know, I don't know how far I'm going to have to turn my head. But welcome to 1997, Bob. Like, dude, that is awesome. <laughs> I just, this reeks a gimmick to me. I, uh, voice yeah. commands, what is that? What is that going to uh, be? Okay, so voice commands are probably really Reload? Retarded. Yeah, reload? that's that's. I don't think it's reload. I, reload. More than likely, if I had to guess what it's going to be, is like the, uh, the comma rows. Like you'll be able to say ammo and like your See, little that guy. I will. think would be a good use for it. Uh, I don't know, man. Halo, Halo combat taxi. assault or anniversary head. You can scream grenade and it would throw a grenade, but. Yeah. How many times do you want to scream no, that? See, I, well, I, I'm saying well, use, like it that, like, use it as attack B or, or I don't know. I mean, because I hate the Comoros. <laughs> I, I, I don't use it. I can attack flags. That's really quick and easy and intuitive, but the whole scrolling, it's, it's cumbersome. I don't, I don't like doing it. Uh, time brought up a good point too. You can use the head tracking to lean around corners instead of the weird Dude, ass. You have to set up a webcam. I've got ideas. to see this. I, I, apparently, I don't know. We'll see. You should be crouching uh, around. Oh god, mantling things. Uh, I. Uh, I don't Will know. it teabag you if you go like this? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. That's one. I, I, I guess that's one thing COD has over Battlefield, right? You can clam slam people. No. Yeah, <laughs> there's actually a, a field order now in the game for that. I don't know if you know how Call of Duty Ghost works, but you pick up field orders I saw mid game that we have to humiliate Get out of here. and you have yeah, to. Yeah, one of the field orders oh. humiliate your opponent. And you got to go teabag him. Get out of here for real. Oh, for real. Yep. I mean, yep. that's no. that's up there with the Battlefield Three like troll. Dog tag. It's like yep. really, you just guys don't get it yeah. at all, do you? You just do not get it at all. Wow. So they encourage you to go and teabag people. That's fantastic. <laughs> so in essence, they're teabagging their player base. Is, is what that yep. is really? Yep. Basically. Wow. I don't know. Well, I think we came full circle there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just. So I don't know. Do you guys have anything else? I, that's the list of my. I mean, I'm going to open it up the chat, which is always a dangerous proposition. Uh, you guys, if if you've got to go somewhere, you're free to go now. <laughs> this is just kind of where it deteriorates. At some point, we decide we're going to make it officially over. Uh, and me and Puppy just usually sit here and ramble to each other for a little while. Um, I mean, we don't have to close Battle for four. I mean, uh, Nick, you've talked about a couple of the clouders and anything. Why don't, why don't you tell us about support? What are your thoughts on support? I know you. Oh been- my God, <laughs> LGs are amazing. Yeah. Oh, what did I just do to my head? Okay, there we go. It's are. so much better than Battlefield Three. I, I agree just, with that. I mean, like, j- it's just. I can kill guys that using ARs, carbines, anything. I mean, snipers, anything. And the thing, I'm, I, I think they're going to get nerfed. I mean, they, they're going to get nerfed. It's People gonna, are going to, yeah, they're going to unlock the MG4, yeah. and they're going to find out that it has no recoil, is incredibly accurate, and has 200 rounds, and you can just sit there and just burst fire right and kill a sniper in two or three bursts. Yeah, I mean, it does that, so but it's going to have to stand still. That's yes. the killer of it. Like, oh and I think God. that balances yeah. it out. Because like, I just figured that out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm still learning it, that, Damn it. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, would, I tried to run around. I mean, have you tried? Well, obviously, you have. I mean, you guys, puppy, you have not. But shooting, even like thinking about moving, your bullets, it's like you're suppressed in Battlefield 3. It's ridiculously, the, the variance is crazy. But if you stand still and you, you teach yourself to stop, then aim. It's pretty crazy. I'm, I'm just kind of wrapping my head around it now. Um yeah, to that end, and we'll get back to support in a second. What do you guys think about forcing people to play the single player to get weapons? Bullshit. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm well on record on Twitter to. Mm. Uh, I didn't like the co-op thing either. But have you have you played the no, single player? I thought yet. about doing yes. it last night. We talked about it. We yes. talked on Twitter. I did not do it. <laughs> couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I just couldn't. I, didn't I mean, I had to force myself thing. to stay awake through it. It was just. <laughs> it's miserably bad. Four or five I- hours, right? I could see them. I, like I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't played it and I, I haven't had the chance to 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 sit through the Probably abyssal like, I would story. Play it right now. I would play it. Yeah, I would <laughs> if I could. But like to me, like the fact that they they went and made a story mode and and like they they have that the campaign. I feel like the fact that like they they tied in the the multiplayer. You go do their single player to get multiplayer crap. I feel like that's kind of justified. Although it is my personal preference that they just remove single player altogether. And just focus on the Those multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I mean, you know, like uh, what was it? When did they start doing single players? Because they didn't always do it. Bad company. Was it? I yeah, it was bad, bad company. company. Which were good, by the way. Yeah, bad company two was good. That's the last. That's the last single player I finished. I I, I I I feel like they 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 thought that they did so well with that that they go, like, oh, let's just keep well, it going. But like, and even then, I'll be honest. I don't know if I would say that was good. Like it was. Like I've had better game experiences, but that was a good single player of an FPS. <laughs> you know what it is? They they were lighthearted. The yeah. problem with yeah. Battlefield Three is it's this like a uh, Battlefield Four. Well, Battlefield Three too. May as well throw yeah, it in there. It's just terrible. Sirs, gotta get sirs. The only reason know, like, it's redeeming to me is that it has Omar from The Wire, which is one of my favorite shows you'll of all hate time. Him in this game. But I'm just gonna yell Omar coming. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna <laughs> yell the whole time. <laughs> like if I did a live stream, you guys would just not watch at all because every time it comes on screen, I'd have to yell it. <laughs> uh, I, I just I hate that they force you to do anything. I pay my, for the game. Give me the freaking weapons. You know, it's like my my thing is I I don't understand. Like you know, I feel like uh, okay, maybe not everyone here has played it. Probably most people here haven't played it. But like Battlefield Vietnam and and, and Battlefield Two. You know, I I feel like those were like when you bought it, you knew you were just buying a multiplayer game, and that's all you were buying. And like that's why people bought it was for I would still the, pay the same player. price for Battlefield 4 with or without and, it. Well, it was the same price, you know, when it launched. It was it was the same price, and I don't understand why we just can't do that because then you get more disk space on, uh, you know, and hard drive space to to throw other crap into the multiplayer. Disk space. <laughs> disk space. <laughs> well, I think, I think it's the more Chad's, of a focal Chad's, point Chad's of the developers. You know? Yeah, it's, it's it's a showpiece. I mean, let's be honest. It's it's a big trailer. I mean, that's and that is kind of what it's coming to now. It's it's what they show you first. It's the prettiness, yeah. you know. Yeah, well, it's like then make it more Michael Bay, please. If you're gonna do that, I mean, stop with this. With try to you know this Just story. Make a movie. Like, yeah, yeah. Or, I mean, something that at least you know you're not having explosions like three times of the thing like have the whole thing just be explosions and then that's it let's go for like two hours and we're done i mean just like yes. yeah let me sit back and just watch right? yeah exactly make it like walking dead like story. you interact here and there every now yeah. and then and yeah. cut his leg well, off or let him bleed mm -hmm. out or whatever you know I, I i mean obviously i haven't tried it yet but uh, the the t the approach that the the approach that respawn has taken with titanfall I think that's kind of interesting where they're they're not, they're they're doing away with a single player campaign, but they still have a campaign. It's just a multiplayer campaign. So we'll there's see. like there's there's an actual story behind it. Now, obviously, if you play enough, put enough hours into it, you're going to get the same story repeated, which might get a little that's annoying. All, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, uh, that would be their excuse to 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 have the the single player. Ooh, look at how pretty our game is. Type crap. Yeah, it just hurts me because. They obviously think they made a good single player. I mean, they talked about it oh, so relentlessly mm -hmm. and the, the attachment you're going to have with these guys. And they've clearly spent a lot of resources on this. And, and it's like, okay, yeah. listen, you want to make me a one- or two-hour single player where it's a showpiece and you can go for it. I get it. But, like, when you have to force me to play the single player, like, you know it ahead of time. You go, you know what? That guy, Colbert, he's not going to play this. we got to make him play this. Well, there's your problem. You know, like... Just think, Change. every time that you get stuck on a wall, <laughs> or or your your gun glitches out, or something stupid happens in game, fixed. just know that that developer <laughs> was working on Omar in the single player for at least six months. When he could have been working well, on like that. When he walks on the beach and the seagulls fly, you know that took four months, hundred thousand dollars. I don't know. I mean, and and everybody, I I don't really necessarily understand, but everybody always comes back at me when I say like, resources aren't resources. You can't just move people and what I. I yes, guess. you can. <laughs> no, yes, Month, you can. Dollars, dollars. That's what I, I used mean, to believe that. <laughs> I know that. That's what I don't get. I, but I, that, I hear that all the time. But you can't just equate resource. Well, money's money, and if you take money from there, can't you hire? Maybe you could have hired a network team, or you know, I don't know. But maybe on QA. A, well, they well now they don't want to waste money on QA. It's totally. Uh, you can write that off these days. Oh. But well, uh, do we get into that? I don't know. QA would, in my opinion, if they had had a, a either a larger QA team or more time, then you would not have had the, half the issues you guys have now Why on PC. Why not do an earlier alpha or an earlier beta, a legit beta? A legit beta, yeah. I'll, I'll test a it. You don't a have legit, to spend money. Give yeah. me a money. legit beta probably would have been a better idea. Yeah, I, yeah, mean, I, I agree. It's, it's, this was a stress test. It wasn't a beta. Yeah. But see, that's the shocking thing. They didn't even get that right. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't like, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I've been kind of an apologist for Dice the last couple, you know, week or so. But like, I can't defend them on this. Like, all right, I, I said the whole, 
the whole beta. I'm like, guys, don't worry about the bugs in the beta. Don't worry about this. This is an old build. This is a stress test. That's all this is. It's a demo stress test, which I thought was a terrible demo. But it was a stress test. But then they got that wrong, and it's like, you got to at least get that right, guys. You got to at least have stability. Like, I don't understand how it was such a step backwards from the beta to the release. That's, that's crazy of, of stability and... Yeah. Just like timer and obliteration, the server queue, like these things were in the beta. They're not in the final product. It was just kind of like, yeah, I wanted I like these things take away from like if these little issues were fixed. Like I feel like you have some COD players that are playing Ghosts now. Like I know probably you play a little bit of it, and it's just like if it for the most part is that bad. Like from what of like reviews and everything, they come to Battlefield. And obviously they have this better experience, but then you get these issues that come up where it's just like you you get the randomly disconnected things like that. It's just like, well, this game's crap now. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I don't know. I feel like first this, impressions, they, man. Oh yeah, it yeah. puts off a bad first impression. First impressions, yeah. Are everything. Yeah, if they could have gotten these issues, like, just have that legit beta and a few things more like that. If they would have actually, you know, obviously, no game is perfect. It could but, be the nicest steak you've ever eaten in your life. Yeah. If it served you on a paper plate, you're gonna be like, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. like if if all I had to do was nail a few more things. Can I mean, someone explain goes, to me why platoons aren't in battle log? Can oh, anybody yeah. explain this to me? Like, if you want to do Platoons 2.0, great, do it when you're ready. But why would you not carry over? Like, I, I, this I don't get. Clearly, because they didn't spend any time on, on Battle Log. That's clear at this point. Because if you're playing Battlefield 4, then clearly you don't have friends. You don't need a Platoon. That's 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 what it is, right? More or less. They don't want you to talk to your friends because you might discourage no. each other from continuing to play, I guess. You guys want to use teamwork in this <laughs> game? Well, know. hey, listen, let me say that, and I should have probably... One of the best improvements I think they have made... This is a PC thing, maybe is the ability to play with your friends. I mean, they we talked mm -hmm. about this in beta. It is so much easier to yeah. not only group up with your friends, stay grouped up. And I, I that I mean, honestly, that is such an important thing and some I I can't tell you cuz you know, I used to play against my entire friends list every night. Like every I, game. I never got grouped with them. And it was And then if you did a team switch, you got booted back over. Yeah, well, yeah, I got killed by the same friends every night, and it's so mm -hmm. it's so frustrating, you know. And now I'm I've never played in a group full of friends, like full group before in Battlefield Three, and I'm what two weeks in, mm -hmm. three weeks counting beta or something like that. Yeah, they, they made it, and that whole like it'll wait for a spot to open and then switch you over like that. I don't know, like maybe it's gonna mess with server balancing because I feel like we kind of route people sometimes, but. That's I want to play with my friends, you know, and, and they've certainly made that a lot better. I don't know if that's the way it is on console. Speaking of console, has anyone played the current generation Battlefield 4? Uh, played the beta. What were your thoughts on the beta? I played the beta. <laughs> well, it's after playing about a week on PC, so my aim was like, let's just say, <laughs> I was looking backwards at the time, but that's one I played for 15 minutes, froze. Okay, started up, played for like another 30 minutes, froze. When I watched the skyscraper come down, it was just like that it was... went from moving and then it like it froze <laughs> and then it was just like the rubble on the ground. Red ring it just <laughs> yep. Yep. It just Battlefield Three Red Ring my old my old it... Xbox. Oh, yeah. it, it, it killed two of mine. Don't worry. Thousand ticket Metro server it froze up on me and it just red ringed. Oh, yeah. wow, that red ring. You gotta red ring your cluster or your blood pressure too. <laughs> I I would just say that the, the beta is the reason why I didn't buy it for the current gen, and it's why I've been waiting on next gen is because it was so awful. It yeah, was terrible. I, don't, I mean, listen, I mean, I think that ten dollar deal is a pretty good deal if you read the fine print and you do it. You know, they do it in a manageable way. But yeah, I don't I don't know that you're missing anything. Uh, uh, I I don't I don't need to spend seventy dollars on a game to to play it a, a month earlier. I mean, I, I, I I am yeah well yeah with the the premium. I mean I I'm not gonna lie you know I, it it burns my insides listening to everyone talk about yeah. Battlefield I Four. You. And I, I I wouldn't. I just want to play it, but at the same time you know like uh, I can wait. No, it's uh, a yeah. the biggest. I mean, God. No, so no, I'm saying it, and it's easy to focus on the on the negatives with things, but in all reality, it's a fantastic game. I, I agree, I agree totally, and I, like, yeah. I just, you know, I see a lot of Twitter, and I follow Battlefield guys, people that you know. That's really all I kind of follow, but man, there's so much. Like I just, I don't understand like all the negativity. Like, I think it's an awesome game. Now I have concerns clearly, uh, but I was worried that Battlefield 4 wasn't going to be for me. You know, like I knew it was going more the way of. Medal of Honor Warfighter, you know, obviously the beta, I felt that right away. Bad Company 2, I loved that game, but I didn't really like the gunplay in that game. So I was worried that Battle, you know, Battlefield 4 was going to go, and I was going to be like, the game's beautiful, it's all this, but it's just not, doesn't grab me like Battlefield 3 does. It does. Like, I'm fully immense in it. Like, 
I kind of hate that we're doing this tonight, to be honest, because <laughs> I want to be yeah. playing a little bit because I got I got stuff going on tomorrow night, so I won't get to play until like Monday night. But that's a good thing. Like I love mm-hmm. that I'm jonesing for it. I mean, that's that's the bottom line for me. Yeah, I think the people that you saying that were just negativity. A lot of that is just not understanding. It's just they they do things, and it's just like they have this robotic way of playing the game, and that's all they know, and they don't yeah. take the time that. And all a few of these issues, the, the whole getting shot around corners, yeah, the bullet issues, thing. Clearly. Yeah, right. but if you want to play the game, those issues are there. You don't just sit there and whine and, and complain all the time and not change. Like I've like I've learned to change how I play because of that. And when that when I've done that, it's been great. I love it even more. Yeah. And, and they're and you just love not it, doing. You love it for yeah. the challenge. Like I mean, some of the yeah. things you're saying. If they're not getting two or three KDs, it's not fun. Like right. mm-hmm. I'm not like that. Like I'm just I've never been natural. I'm not an aardvark puppy. Like, I I just can't pick up a wooden stick and beat computer games. <laughs> like, it's never been my thing. I'm a grinder in life. Nothing comes easy for me in life ever. I'm a grinder. I apply myself, and it's just how I do. I just do it, and and so I kind of enjoy that. Like I pick up Battlefield Four, and I might not do good, but I feel like I can do good at this. Like I all right, I just got to put the hours in. Like everything I do. And I'll get there. I might not be great, might not be ridiculous, but I'll be a, a good team player. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll win. I'll have a good KD. I'll have, you know. So th- once I got that feeling, I was like, I'm good. I know I'm playing this for 500 hours over the next two years. It's just, it's, we're good. <laughs> so that, I think that changed my viewpoint. But like, all right, I'll chill out for the first month. I'm not going anywhere. You know, plus you tie in YouTube, and I'm really not going anywhere. But, yeah. you know, like once I knew, I was like, okay, this is, it's a function of time for me. I have to put the work in. I'll get there. But I think a lot of people, like you said, maybe they've been a little easy. Like, clearly right now, especially with the hit net code and, you know, f- forgive me, it's more of a thinking man- man's game. It's less of a Twitch game, I think. You have to, like you said, anticipate, mm-hmm. use cover, mm-hmm. you know, tactics. So maybe that's why people, you know, they're used to running around twitching. There's yeah. 87 shotguns in right. the game. There's tons of explosions. <laughs> hip fire is terrible. So you can't run and gun yeah. as much as people are used to. So... I mean, maybe that's some of the blowback we're seeing. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, that was that's what I did. Like, in Battlefield 3 for me on PC, like, once I got towards the end, and, like, like I played console a thousand hours. I mean, good gods, a lot. Love the game for BF3 on a console. But when I moved to PC, after about three or four days, it's just, like, my confidence level just shot through the roof. Like, I can do these things. And a lot of PC it was Twitch. Like just just reaction to what was going on. And mm-hmm. that's what I relied on a lot of the times, because I could still do well. I didn't have this kind of, I, my mentality changed. And then when Battlefield 4, it's like, okay, now I kind of go back to that slower down now. Yeah. Like, or slower pace. And it's like, if I can do, make, make the switch from being this Twitch reaction player to like a more slower tactical player, you know, you can do it as well. Right. Yeah. It's just, take, take, you know, try. Yeah, you just, I'm trying to think, it's like, it's hard for me too because I still try to run and I still run around corner, do all the stupid things you're not supposed to do. But you just have to think a little more and you just yeah you have to adapt. I mean people will. I mean but just I was shocked to hear all the people that you know they're focusing on like the service crashing. I'm like yeah it sucks today. Like if I took work off today and I was trying to plan on gorging myself on on Battlefield Four, I'd be pissed. But in the big picture, service crashing or nothing. Like it's to me it's all the hit detection, hit notification. That stuff's the stuff that worries me, and you know. Cla- but I think otherwise, like we just talked about, map balance is way better, class balance way better. There's more guns, and uh, I mean, and maybe you guys. I know we're getting China Rising at least on PC December third. And when is Second Assault? I heard I saw December sixth or seventh. Like that seems ludicrous. I know Xbox One gets it on launch, correct? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So that's what November twenty second. Am I yeah, right? am I right on that? Yeah, you guys so should get it a week before later. Before the new I, year, before the new year, we're gonna have two DLCs. Safe to say, I would think so. So we're gonna have eight more horrible. maps. We're gonna have eighteen maps. I mean, that's pretty. That's not bad. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. No, you can't even. As long I, I mean, as they fix the issues, obviously. I mean, yeah, but it's just like, like that's the biggest problem for me. It's just like I know Battlefield Three. Like you get this Karkin right away. Okay, fine, but. You know, I was still enjoying the game, like the regular maps. Can I please yeah. enjoy them? And then when that enjoyment starts to wear off, give me the new, like that's because when you have that everything together, the game, the new game, I agree. I, it's going to take longer for that new feeling to wear off versus I think that was the, the DLC. Plan, with four and maps. I think Microsoft threw a shitload of money at him for second assault. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's, that's an understatement. That, cause I, I do. Cause I, it doesn't make any sense. Like, cause then the next one, I think it's like may. 
So again, and that's what I hated about Battlefield 3. I remember when Close Quarters came about, we were like, where the hell have you been? It's been five, <laughs> six months since we've gotten it. And, and we loved Carcan. Carcan's a great DLC. Yeah, it it might have been the best DLC. You know, So mm-hmm. it's not like we were coming off an armored kill and we were just dying for something good. We had good maps. Well, the core maps were... I, I think the core maps in Battlefield 4 were way better than the core maps yeah. in Battlefield 3. But, yeah. but we did then have you know, Carcan... So, like, now we're going to have eight maps and then nothing for four or five months, which I just don't, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get, you know, you'd think they would evenly space it a little more. And I thought they would do more this time around, to be honest. But I guess when you're packaging it all and you're getting one fee for it, there's really no incentive to do that. Yeah, exactly. But I am looking forward to see what they do with DLC later down the road because I feel like the mechanics in this game offer a lot more uh, variables to the gameplay. Like, Close Quarters was great, and a lot of people, in my opinion, was great, but a lot of people had problems with how the maps were laid out and yeah, way too many flanking yeah. rats. But I think there was also problems with the gun mechanics with that, too. Like, I don't think Act Battlefield 3 was able to properly represent what Close Quarters could be. In terms of the speed of it, I don't think it could keep up flat out, like, just how the actual engine ran. And I think Battlefield 4 may be suited to fit that a little better, but we'll see. Well, see, I like how they've done the map. Like, and I don't think, I hope we don't see... It's, it's it's pigeonholed into a, like a, a close quarters, a huge map. Like, I'd like to see variety, and I think, you know, like you have maps like Galmud or whatever, where you you go in, you're like, oh, this is a big, this is a mission, yeah. you know, a tank map, but then you get in these little villages, and you're like, no, it's not. This is awesome. Like there's 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 a place for everybody on the map. So, I hope they continue to go that trend, but I don't know. I uh, I remember playing the first time playing the beta, landing on the C C building in Shanghai, and I'm like, this is a close quarters map up here. Like the like the center right. C building is basically a close quarters map. The, the in upstairs, Battle 3. or even the yeah. downstairs, but yeah, same idea. Yeah, it's. I do like that. I like that. There's a whatever you want, you can find on just about every map, more or less. I mean, obviously, there's some locker is just you know <laughs> head it's between your legs and yeah, but but I, I don't mind that. I think there should be one of those, but apparently we're gonna get another one very soon. So I don't I don't know. Can can anybody? Uh, this is just something. I think I had another topic too, but I forgot. Battle packs. Oh God. Thoughts on these? I mean, are they gonna charge for these directly? They got, they have to, right? They, they... I don't know that they. Will. I thought that was the plan. I thought that was the plan too, yeah. but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Partnership thing, I guess. There was a little bit of. I don't know if it's on PC, but on console, there was a little bit of a glitch where people were getting battle packs like no, I haven't seen candy, but I see time. candy, yeah. yeah, time, and you know some other guys something. are sitting on on hundreds and hundreds of battle packs, and they uh, still have them. Yeah. Wow. That's from funny. from what I understand, time you're in the chat and you can hear us. You can correct me if I'm mistaken, yeah. but they didn't take them away. Oh, so, I don't really? like. I, yeah, I think I've that kind of yeah. devalues the uh, any potential score per minute. Uh, they had <laughs> there. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, maybe they can still give it a try. I don't think it'll do that well on console. Of course, maybe it's because it's current gen. They probably won't care about it as much. Yeah, yeah, they probably they probably could. Just, I mean, once the new gen, they're probably gonna stop altogether caring about that. But see, I don't know. I, I don't care about like that doesn't bother me. Or let's say time goes. Yeah, I have a hundred and fifty fifty percent XP boost. I don't care. Like I'm again. It's, I, my maybe it's being older. I don't know. Like I just I'm not in a rush to do everything. Like I'm not. Beat I mean, the game like, now. Yeah, do it. Like, yeah. Like I want to, like I, Cloud, I watch your videos. I watch Windshear. You guys are like doing tons of support stuff, and I'm watching. I'm seeing MG4. I'm seeing, even I, Eretzi did a uh, Pechenegg video. I'm like, wow, that thing looks fun. Like whether it's good or not, it just looks like fun to try. And then, then I'm like, oh my god, I got all the carbines to do. And then I got, you know, I'm like, this is. I mean, even me, who's going to consume it pretty quickly, more than the average player. I'm like, there's a lot for me to really, because I'm not just going to play around with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive in and, and sink my teeth into it. So. And then we got more maps coming and theoretically more weapons. I don't know. We haven't mm. seen any absolute confirmation on that. <clears throat> I, I haven't. Maybe this is just me and I haven't been attentive enough, but I haven't seen any M60 gameplay for Battlefield 4. I think that's the MG4. Yeah. No, but, but, but I sent you a picture and it looked not like the MG4. That, it looked like the M60. It, it looked exactly like the M60. The picture you sent me was the M60. The Iron big, sights and all. You cannot forget that. Uh, if I had to put my money on it, that's going to be second assault. I Bring think. I want is, it. Isn't the F2000 coming to Second Assault? There was a list I saw of confirmed guns. I could probably pull it up quicker if one of you guys... Like, I'm sure like MP First or Battlefield though has it at some point, but I, I just can't look. Yeah, but I definitely sent you something on Twitter. I was like, Puppy, here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw it. Clearly. I saw it. Because they did have the same thought. I noticed it wasn't in there. 
but and I thought uh, in my head I was like maybe it's the MG4, but now I'm thinking about it. No, it's not. It's it's clearly not the MG4. So I I mean that's gonna come back. I mean it's it, that's like bring it. I want it. Yeah, Where is it? Back. When is it gonna come back? Is, is kind of the question. And I it's thing. I think the AS Val I think is coming back. The MP7 right. I think is coming back. I'm just thinking the ones off the top of my head. I'm like. I'm F2000, not going to get excited LAD5. these ones are coming back because oh, I, I keep doing that. You know, I had those before, but I, I'm kind of surprised with the battle pack thing. I like, I thought this is clearly their microtransaction thing, and yeah. all I'm doing is eating Slim Jims and Mountain Dew, right? It's, <laughs> which, it makes sense for them. It gives them another avenue to branch out, and I'm sure they're making money. So, But I don't. they don't bother me. Like, I don't see... Like, I see, I still don't like the way they're done. Like, I just, you, like the weapon attachment one's okay, they're fine, but like... I don't want, you know, the third suppressor. I don't want this, you know, this crap. Can I, like, I want the category things in the battle packs where you, like, have the uh, the scopes, the barrels, the, you know, all those different things in the camos, and then you can pick, you know, I want three camos in this battle pack. Can we go to a currency system already? Like, where I, where oh, I have yeah. credits? Yes. I mean, yes. Can we do that? No. I mean, that's been done, it, and it's, and it's kind of widely agreed that that's the most user-friendly way. Like, I just think it's, like... The whole idea of battle packs was it not, or at least through Dice's mouth, was that we don't want you to have to grind for that attachment. That's a well, I'm grinding. <laughs> like I don't know yeah, what you guys right are now. doing. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm 416. I'm four or five hundred kills. I still don't have that goddamn coyote sight. That's, yeah, <laughs> same thing. Game G4. That's what, yeah. about it. You know, like, like I've got four or five weapon packs, which is what that's 12 to 15 unlocks. I still don't have the damn thing. You know, and I'm ready to move off the gun. I don't have it. It's like. The idea was to keep me from grinding, but I'm grinding and I'm eating Slim Jims and it ain't good for me. <laughs> but I don't know. Like I don't, I don't hate it. I mean, it's like whatever. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to just do knives and, and camos and and that's, I, I could care less. Like you could do that all day long. But once you get into the, my attachments, I don't see. Don't mess with those. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna do it, then like make it like a slot machine too. When I click on yeah. it, it's like, and let me have some yeah. interaction with it. Like I get to pull the thing and yeah, yeah it's like, just like, randomness. Right? Yeah, like give me something. Yeah, the total it. random I hate. It's just like let you have control over it, but it's still <laughs> random at the same yeah, time. Yeah, it's kind of, I don't know. It's it's just I don't it's hate it. I don't, you know, it's not gonna. But I just don't get it. Like I thought, and I don't care if they want to make more money on the game. It, like, to me, it gives them more motivation to make a good game. You know, but they're not selling them, which is rather bizarre to me. So. Mm. I don't know. Maybe they backed off on that, or maybe it wasn't the plan all along. I don't know. You know what? What maybe? And the thought just occurred to me because the same thing's happening with uh, Grand Theft Auto right now. Uh, is maybe they're actually just waiting until their game is is fixed. Um, quotations. Uh, it, maybe they're just waiting until it's fixed before they they start charging people for it. Because uh, that would be I funny. think that's part of the reason why Rockstar right now they're doing the same thing where they have they they took down their cash card system. Since uh, you know their microtransactions, since uh, their game Chad, is kind of he uh, had to get Grand Theft Auto in here. Yeah, hell yeah, he had I did. Hell he yeah, he's been but waiting I mean, for an hour and a half to find a way to bring Grand Theft Auto in. Here. I'm, I'm just saying, go. like it's 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 not working there. And like I think Rockstar's approach there is is more or less, you know, like if we if we try and charge you for this right now, yeah. uh, it's gonna be kind of like yeah, it's gonna look real go. bad and sleazy on us. Right. You know, I think maybe maybe that's the same deal right now with with Dice and the uh, battle packs. Just a thought. Yeah. Well, I think that would be prudent. That would be pretty. I mean, I I, I see uh, if you guys see the the the, the post was it Gustav Howling or whatever on the forums, saying they're gonna start giving battle packs away to like um, helpful threads. And well behaved like or something. What was it? Yeah. What was the word? Which used? I, that's fair to me. I, if that's constructive what you're gonna use criticism. For, yeah. If you're gonna use that for that or like reward token, hey, okay, I'm okay with that. I got no problem with that. I'd rather you do stuff like that than like the dice approved dog tags or whatever that crap was. But you know, yeah. you want to just give it, uh, give these things away. It doesn't affect me if the, how many they give you guys. So go for it. I mean, I don't know. It's just it seems weird. It seems like so yes. convoluted and muddied, and it's just yeah. There's no there's no real point to it. I feel like no. it's just kind of a randomized. It's not better. It's not worse. System. It's random. Yeah. yeah. It's at least I used to be able to look on on Battlelog and be like, okay, I'm 400 kills away from that thing. It doesn't mean that much to me now. Whatever. I'm moving on to another gun. Now it's like, well, I need 15 kills. I might get it. Then it's hmm. another 65 until I might get it. You know, it's like, just tell me, or just give me currency system where I can go in. Like, I, I, I this is my thing. Like, they should do rank up and all that. Like they do, but like make objective points, like cap and flags, reviving people, ammo. Make that currency. Like, make that battle points, whatever the 
freak you want to call it, and then you take that in, you can buy attachments, you can buy camos. You, you want to incentivize people to do these things? Give them free camos for it. They'll go friggin' nuts. And call it blood money. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Like, take sell scalps or something. I don't know. But I don't know. Let's wrap up Battlefield 4 now. We'll go to the chat. If, if chat wants to ask any questions, just type, I don't even know, FF in capitals and with a question. Anything you want about gaming. Uh, we're about, a, what, what are we, uh... An hour and 40, that's probably our, 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 our average. Guys, if you guys wanted to talk about anything specific, please go ahead and bring it up. Otherwise, we're just going to kind of hang out. But I think we've covered just about everything. Yep. If I miss something, chat, remind me, as I'm sure you will. <laughs> I'm looking at this article you linked, Nick, like an hour ago. What do you guys think about Google Plus? And YouTube. Shit. <laughs> Shit. See, good question. That's, that's, a, that's a question from the no, chat. Oh, yeah? Yep. yeah so. Oh, God. I want to ban Polly. Polly <laughs> See, here's the thing. I don't mind it. I don't mind the integration. But what the fuck with the comments? I don't. Like, my my video today. Like I usually, I'm at work, right? So I don't. I check in my phone every couple hours, and I look at my emails, and, and that's all my comments are in email. So I I know right away how my video is doing just by like I have 30 emails, I have 80 emails, I have four emails today. It's like what the, what the <laughs> hell? It's like uh. Uh, okay, and I can reply to one of those because only one of them has a G Plus account. It's like okay, you know, great. The the I part that I didn't understand and like I, I don't know I don't get as comments on on my stuff as often. I don't really care. Um, but the part that I didn't understand. You're not supposed to say that, puppy. You're not I, well, to say that. I, I, you know, I make videos you to entertain. The, you wrote the YouTube rule book on the forums. You're not supposed I, to say I, that. Look, I make videos to entertain, but I mean, if people aren't going to come and watch, I'm not going to bitch about it. But I mean, yeah, that's that's its own thing. You know, I'm not here to complain. But like the thing that I didn't understand is I have a Google Plus account. I made one back in the day right. to do when we were doing the podcast when yeah, we were doing right. Nerd Talk. You know, I, I made that one. Yeah. And then it says link. You know, link your account, and I was like, okay, you know, fine. You're forcing me to do it, so let's go I ahead and link you to this stop thing. Stop asking me, so yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, so so just stop asking me, and you know what? You know what YouTube did? It created a brand new Google Plus page for me, yeah. with with a brand new email that I don't even know the <laughs> password right. to. You guys have seen the like, Google document, but Puppy has it. Cause he's what like, am I supposed to do? I don't I don't yeah. understand, you know. So now I got this uh, I got like understand. 10 Google Plus accounts now and I don't I don't even understand what's happening anymore. It's all for them to just say how many users they have. Uh, that's all. Oh, active users. Well, it's, well, I count for 10 people now. I guess it's <laughs> oh, personality. You, you, I got so you don't even know. <laughs> and I'm afraid to delete any because I'm afraid any one of them is going to delete my YouTube account. <laughs> I'm like uh, you know, cuz I have like I have like 3 that are linked to my YouTube account. I don't even know how that happened probably drunk after a podcast one night but I, like, i'm like i'm terrified to delete anything because i don't know what the, clearly they don't know it's what so they're confusing. doing in yeah the back which end. one's tied in which one's tied in i know which one's supposed to be but for all i know like, they're not letting me reply to my comments <laughs> like, like i can't exactly trust it they're not gonna let me delete my youtube account like there's no there's no confidence in the system at all yeah and and the shame is i don't dislike google plus i don't i don't dislike it it's actually not a bad system i know that if i post something Guess what? It goes to everybody that follows me, which that doesn't happen on Facebook. I have to pay for that to happen on Facebook, which is a fucking crime. But I don't dislike it. It's just you can't force people to do things. It's yeah. But see, I was like, what? Just like the YouTubers, reward them, give them an incentive to link Google Plus to get like right. something small, but don't for, you know, just accountability is what it comes down to. But. It's just like, you know, one, make them want to use it. And the biggest problem I had was that people didn't want to use it before. Okay. Why not? You figure the reason out. Don't just sit here and say, well, too bad. You have to have this. It's right. just, it was too clunky and cumbersome. I mean, from a YouTuber, it is like, can you make it yeah. a little easier for me to reply to my, like <laughs> you should want me to reply to comments. Cause that gets those guys to come back. That gets you another ad view. Cause Lord knows you don't pay me for that ad view. And it's like, you know, like, it's just I don't get it. I wish there was a competitor, but there isn't. There's I just... I kind of understand why they did it, and I think it's stupid. I think the whole reason they did it is because as far as far as a social website goes, which is what Google Plus was supposed to be, it's supposed to be able to compete with Facebook and and my no longer in existence. Uh, but I mean, like it it was supposed to to compete with that, and I think they're just trying to revive it by by forcing you to. You know, link in and oh, since you're here, maybe you'll start using it. But the website is just so poorly designed that it's it's just right. But gone. the problem is now I I mean at least I have a thousand people that a 
I don't. I'm sorry. I don't give a shit. And B, <laughs> I don't know who you are. Like I knew who you were on YouTube. I knew your YouTube handle, but I don't know your real name. So now suddenly you're ta- you're talking about okay, your real name. Names. And then I'm like, oh, I don't. I know you by this on YouTube, but I know you that on Skype. And I, I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, like who are you people? Because then I, I don't know if you guys, Cloud, you might, because I I know I know it's like been rolling out. Like you have the favorite fan thing on YouTube, or the favorite subscriber, or your best subscribers, or all these. Oh things. yeah, and the then motion- you can start a circle for that, which is actually pretty cool. Because I got a lot of people that followed me and all this stuff, but it was like. At a click of a button, I added like 300 people to my Google Play. And I'm not just like, I have no idea who half these people are. I do know who they are on YouTube, but I have no idea who Joe Smith is on Google Plus. And it's just like, and if you don't use the same avatar, I'm lost. Like, I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? It's so it's so cluttered and dumb. <sighs> it's just. I, it's slightly unrelated, but still Google Plus rant. I actually did that with my phone. Uh, with my personal Google Plus account, not not my YouTube one that I use for the podcast, but my personal one, which has like some two thousand people on it, and I accidentally linked Man. it to my phone. My phone, mm-hmm. so I had yeah, two 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 thousand contacts in my <laughs> list. And I'm like, well, I just want to call my wife, man. Facebook, right? I know I did that with Facebook. Holy once. crap! And it like put all these pictures in there and stuff. I'm like, what I don't is sh- this? I don't care about this. No, they, like put your phone number. Excuse me, put your phone number up on Facebook. I'm like, no. I don't like answering phone calls anymore at at all. <laughs> Even from my wife. Uh, I don't want Joe Random Facebook dude calling me, so no, that was retarded. Yeah, yeah. I saw your post on Facebook. I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're at, you know, Starbucks, figured you were lonely. Uh, yeah, I don't just... know. It's just, it's, I, I don't, I don't even, like, I don't, I don't mind the integration because, I, like, I like about Google Plus is I post a video. It's automatically published to Google Plus. That's cool to me. Like, if people would dig that, it, gives, it makes me have another place I have to monitor, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But hey, whatever, I'll do that. But this whole comment thing—it's like I get a hundred comments. I can reply to fifteen of them. It's like, and now yeah. people think, "What a dick!" He doesn't reply to me. And I, one of the things I used to take a lot of pride in is that I—I rep- I will sit here for three freaking hours and reply to every comment on every video. I'm retarded, but I feel like that's my edge as a small YouTuber. Is that I can talk to people, but now I just am like, there's nothing I can do about this. <laughs> I'm not gonna track you down and go to your Google Plus. I I can't. I can't do that. I can't imagine what guys with like 50,000 subscribers are gonna do. Uh, no way. Yeah, there's nothing no. you can do. There's no. absolutely nothing you can do. Yeah. And that's and you're like, what are they doing? They're make they're cutting you off from your subs. Is what they're doing. So I don't know, but. And I just hope awareness gets out there so they realize what's going on. I, I know in the YouTube circles we're all bitching about it. Well, didn't but, like the co-founder say something also? <laughs> like, wasn't that yeah. the whole joke running today? Yeah, but is that legit? Yeah. I don't. I, don't, I know. It'd be I so know. easy to fake. I don't know. The Verge actually did a uh, a report on it though. It, but wasn't that comment from like a month ago too? Like, I, I feel was like was it? I, saw, I, I, I didn't really look. I just saw the screen cap. Yeah, I, I saw really like on my phone, it. so I wasn't even sure. But again, I was like, that would be such a good troll. Like, it would, be, you know. <laughs> but if it's legit, it's hilarious. The Google co-founder saying, "Why the hell do I need a Google Plus account to post a comment or something?" But. I, I don't know, but I just it's just it's like they do whatever is counterintuitive to what needs to be done. I, next week they're gonna roll out a new design layout. I guarantee yeah. you. It's gonna be Why like not? my videos aren't getting to the sub boxes as it is, but let's just make it look pretty. How well, long has that been a problem? Five hours. The whole time uh, I've been doing YouTube. I was gonna say that's that's been a, almost a two year running problem now yeah, with the sub boxes. <clears throat> like I said, like the whole one page isn't that what they call it? The one page or whatever page one or whatever the freak they call it and yeah. then they want you to do all these playlists and everything right and so like i add videos to like battlefield 4 so i'm on battle all right battlefield 4 playlist woohoo let's go click 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 all oh, i'm being all t- studious about it and then you look the playlist on your front page doesn't update so like my last battlefield 4 was like two months ago I'm like oh that's awesome i have to go in there click in sort by date do like, like 10 clicks and you're like okay cool so every time i do a video i have to do this now it's like they uh, they make it so hard to be a a, a, a bad YouTuber. <laughs> it, it's just like I get paid way too little for this. But it's just I can like I said, but they'll keep promoting PewDiePie and yeah. I Justine and they'll come out with a new design layout next week and and you keep recycling it. I, yeah, I love doing it though, and that's why I do it. I I just yeah, I, yeah. it's fun. I that's my thing. It's I It's yeah. fun. Right, and I'm, I guess I'm, I'm thankful for that because if I didn't, like I see a lot of guys. We all know we won't name names. 
but uh, we know a lot of people that don't like doing it anymore, and it's got to be misery is all I got to say. But Yeah, uh, I could uh, see it becoming very uh, well, tedious. Well, yeah. And, and uh, stressful. Stressful, Jesus yeah. Just, Christ. just stressful. Like, and I know it sounds pathetic, but I get it. So, yeah. Because, like, think about it. Like, I have, uh, let's say a video gets 1,000 views, right? And I, I, get, I get 100 comments. I reply to those hundred. Now those hundred people come back to reply to my replies. So now I'm getting a hundred. You know, like you can start to build some views there. If you're, that's just a small percentage, but that's now I'm getting ten comments. <laughs> you're getting, Yay. and then when you start extrapolating that over bigger subs, it's like, sure, okay, <laughs> it's gonna affect your bottom line. And uh, I don't know. I would never want to do it for real for like for my living. Oh, you'd have to be so big to just not give a give a shit. Yeah, to give a care. Yeah, yeah you'd have, it's, there's no middle ground. You have to either not care or not do it for that. So I don't know, uh, puppy. You've been watching chat. Were there any other questions in there? Cause, uh, Clappy asked uh, uh, Battlefield it's a, Four. It's ba a Clappy question. It's, yeah, I should probably uh, put the baby toy down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, Clappy asked if uh, you guys think that the AC Ace AC the the Ace Twenty Three is the new M Sixteen A Three. Is the new Pub Stomper favorite? I think it's pretty safe to say, right? I, I do not have. I, I haven't had hands on. It. You yeah, got to grind for that one. I watched gameplay of a uh, uh, one of the Sons of Anarchy guys using it, and he was ripping people to shreds with but it. Here's the thing: it's it's literally on paper because I've looked at it. It's the same gun as the M416. It has slightly less, I think, a horizontal recoil, like like not much. Like the, like an Anarchy guy might might recognize that, but a guy like me would not. And it has a slower reload, so it's like it's not. Don't don't yeah you know what though I th you you can't pay attention to that reload because a lot of the people and and you were one of them that used the M16 on in Battlefield well, Three when the that M416 was, has a quicker reload I'm saying I I'm saying it, it just because it's it's the gun got a quicker a reload doesn't doesn't necessarily make the gun the best I mean in my opinion one of the, the best gun in Battlefield Three was the AEK. But the reason uh, I didn't use the AK was the reload. <laughs> yeah, I had a really long reload on it. I was a big reload guy because I'm terribly accurate, <laughs> inaccurate. So, uh, no, I mean I'm I'm grinding to it right now. You have to do like 200 ribbons of this, 200 ribbons. Of, it's a it's a bit of a grind. It's not crazy. Um, I think it's going to be a very good gun, but I don't think it's going to be the M16. I think it will be. It might be one of the three. It might be 416 AEK M16, but it might be it's up there for sure. But I think the 416. If you look at it, I, I, actually I should pull it up right now. It's, Who they're is it? very I close. Saw, they're very close. I saw, I want to say it was Big Mooney that did a video saying that the SAR-21, is that what it's called? There's a lot of guns that are just like each other. Yeah. SAR, they said something about the SAR being being uh, an absolute laser gun. Yeah, long range, yep. Because uh, there's like hardly any recoil right, or so bullets. Here right? it is, it's right here. Like, I mean, I'm looking at, you know, I'm on synthic.com looking at it. It's 3%, 3%, like, that's all negligible. Uh, slightly less recoil to the right, so it's a 17% less kick to the right. That's the big advantage. Uh, uh, like a 9% first shot recoil. That's it. Of the ace, that's the advantage of the Ace 23. Uh, 416 has tactical reload better, faster, much faster empty reload. 33% recoil to the left. Like they're they're right there. It's it's going to be a matter of personal preference. Is really what it's going to come down to. I. I don't know. Like I said, I don't, I don't have hands-on. No, I, I, I don't have it at this one either, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm going off of what other people have told me. I think maybe it's a bit of a placebo. It's the new yeah. gun. Yeah. Maybe it's because it's it's so hard to get to. Well, it's harder to get to. And you only see the better players with it right now. Yeah. That yeah. Might I mean, it just might fit you better. Like I, like I said, I don't know. Like Horizontal recoil is usually a better player's recoil. You know, like vertical recoil is easy to, easy to counter. Horizontal is a little harder, so... Yeah. You know, maybe in the hands of a better player, it'll be. More, you know, I'm I'm going for it. That's the one I want to get, but it's gonna take me a little while. <laughs> but, I'll tell you when I'm locking four sixteen. Not even there yet. That's <laughs> that's that four sixteen. <laughs> it's it's the same of Battlefield three. Yeah, I gotta kinda, get on the support. So I'm gonna do that. Then I'll then I'll unlock. It. Yeah, it's a it's 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 a great weapon. Very versatile. And, you know, I mean, I've said it. it's it's just like the four sixteen in Battlefield three. Doesn't shine in any areas, any areas, but it definitely helps you out. Yeah, I'm, I'm just checking the chat, the chat now. Yeah, sounds like I'm in denial. I haven't seen any more questions pop up. 
It's just been comments. They're just cracking on me now. I'm reading. Hell yeah. Well, you, it's that accuracy, man. Oh, my accuracy's terrible. If you learn to aim, yeah, mine's aim better. As well. but, all right. So I listen, spray. I think we're we're kidding him a lot. We're gonna. I'm gonna wrap up the official cast right here. We'll 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 go off. We'll come back on. And you, I mean, if you guys stick around. And you want. We come back, we kind of talk to the chat. But this way, this I can upload to YouTube, and that'll be the official show. So thank you, Clouded. Thank you, Nick. I uh, appreciate you coming yeah. on. Do Anytime, you know, man. Thanks for having me. Yep. We hit about two hours, which I was trying to keep it shorter. But, you know, hey, whatever. Talking about Ghost and Battlefield 4 in the same podcast, and then you're keeping it under that. It's not too bad. Thank you, Chad. Thank you for coming. I, I wish I could have chatted back with you. Uh, <laughs> again, if that's the only technical difficulties we're going to have tonight, that that's fine. Fair game. But uh, thanks a lot, guys, for coming out. I appreciate it. I'm gonna take this off uh, stream, and then we're gonna come right back. And I'm gonna, I gotta eat piss. <laughs> I'm not mm -hmm. gonna lie. So, uh, thanks, guys. I will see you in a couple minutes.